Uh, I have a Kia bottle. Okay. I know this must be very difficult for you. <laughs> it feels like a dream. It feels like a nightmare. Grab me and just started kissing me and... I'm only asking this for investigation purposes. Were you guys intimate with one another last night? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name's Drip Drop, and I'm your host as always. Today, I present you the best interrogation of the year. This video has it all. Drama, deception, lies, betrayal, a love triangle, a cam girl, passing aways, and so much more. Melissa's 29 years old, she's a cam girl, a cosplay girl, and a bad, bad girl. She finds herself in the interrogation room with homicide detectives because her boyfriend was stabbed to passing away. She says she has no memory of this, her hands are all B-L-O-O-D-Y, and we'll see what she has to say for herself. But please check out my second YouTube channel, The Crime Circus Cult. We need to get more subscribers over there. I just recently released a Brian Koberger video on that channel. I'm going to be releasing more exclusive interrogations as well as crime scene investigations on that channel. You don't want to miss it because if you like Crime Circus, you're going to love The Crime Circus Cult, I promise. I'll leave a link down below. We're going to jump right into this video and see what Melissa has to say for herself. But before we do, a very brief word about Data Seal, today's video sponsor. Uh, he's just grabbing a couple things, so it'll just be a minute, right? <clears throat> you need any water or anything? Please. You want a cup of water? Okay, I'll just grab that. Is that something he was grabbing you already, do you know? Less glamorous than they make it on TV, right? It's not too cold for you. I think I'd still have trippers right now, even if it were 100 degrees in here. Find some nice soft tissues. It's okay. That's what I was able to get, okay? I'm not too concerned with you. Uh, I just, you, you, you look you're very upset. I just so look like good. a mess. I saw it myself. I've got it blood all over my face. I'm sure you've had better days. But given the circumstances, I, I understand. Okay? So now we're here at the CID office. Um, I just want to go over a couple things with you real quick, okay? Just so you know, our rooms are audio and video recorded, all right? That's a camera right there. Okay? And we have, we have digital recorders, so just in case the, that fails, this thing picks up what we say, okay? And it's to protect you and to protect us so we can never say that you said something that you didn't and you can't say something that we said that we did. You know what I mean? Um, like I told you back at the scene where I met you, and today's date, just for the record, is Friday, October the 18th, 2019. It's 10.51 hours. Met you over there. <laughs> and Miss Turner, I, we're gonna go at your pace, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay, listen, you The date called me because we, a month and a half ago, we went to Cades and we picked out a living group set but it was on back order. It was supposed to be here this week, but it was delayed. Okay. <laughs> it's and it's gonna show up, and I'm gonna have this fucking couch. <laughs> we picked it to him, yeah, put my chair. It was a love seat with a console in the middle. It was supposed to be me. <laughs> and okay. it's gonna show up, and what the fuck do I do with it now? You never even got to sit here with me. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> Look, I know this is going to be this is difficult for you. Okay, so we're going to go. Uh, we're we're going to take our time. Okay. You know, obviously you're very upset, and, and I can understand why. Okay. Let me just go over a couple more things with you real quick. Um, I had asked you if you were willing to come back here and talk to us back at the house. Is that correct? Yes. And the deputies transported you? Yes. Did anybody put any handcuffs or anything on you? No. All right. Um, just so you know, that door right there is unlocked, okay? If you walk out the door at any time during the interview, if you want to, you go to the left and you're in the parking lot. All right? You know that you're not under arrest and you don't have to talk to us, right? I told you that back at the scene. The reason I'm telling you this is because I'm not here to try to trick you. There's no tricks here, all right? I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Okay? Let me go over a couple basic things like your name, your name, and where you live, and your date of birth, and, and stuff like that so we can get it on the record. Stand by, please. Yes. Like I said, I'm Detective Tabor. This is Detective the Two. Uh, and you... Uh, I was provided your name, uh, Melissa Turner, is that correct? Yes. Can you spell it for me? M-E-L-I-S-S-A-T-U-R-N-A-R. All right, Ms. Turner, do you got a middle name? Rose. Rose, like the flower? R-O-S-E. Okay. When's your birthday? November 25th, 1992. Now, was uh, other than me asking you what your name was at the scene and it, you know who you lived there with, did I ask you any other questions about what happened? I don't believe so. Okay. Uh, well, I I didn't. Other than what your name I'm was. No, I know. I'm just I just want to make sure that we cover that that I didn't ask you anything or anything like that at the, at the scene there. Did the deputies ask you anything in the car pertaining to this investigation? No, because I told them to talk bullshit to me. Tell me shit. Tell me about things that don't matter. You kind of keep your mind off of what's going on? Absolutely. Okay. And uh, where can you raise your right hand for me? You swear everything you're going to tell me today is going to be the truth? I swear. Okay, you can put your hand down. Do you want, do you want to work, keep wearing those gloves or do you want to take them off? Because it, it's my understanding um, a deputy had you put those... Um, you signed something or, or you were handling a pen, so he had he had you put those on because of the I was getting blood. things bloody because I was covered in his blood. Okay. Okay. Would you like to take them off? You're more than welcome to take them off. It's completely up to you. I just didn't know. I mean, we all... It's uncomfortable. Your hands will start sweating. Those, your hands start getting sweaty in that and get all the yucky. I'll leave them on for now. Okay. Fair I don't know if I can be able to just take them off and see that the blood will be in it. Um... You, you you swear that everything you're going to tell me is going to be the truth today? Yes. You can read and write the English language? Yes. Do you know where you're at right now? Yes. Uh, do you know what's going on? Yes. Are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol? No. Yes. All right. In fairness, when I was talking to you earlier back at, at the house over there, I smelled a little bit of alcohol in your breath. We were did, drinking last night. No, that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with drinking. I just want to make sure that I cover that. So I know what your state is when I'm asking you questions. Yeah, like no, that. we were drinking last night, okay. but I've, obviously not since I woke up. <laughs> When's the last time you had a drink? Probably 10-ish last night, 10 to 30 maybe. Okay. Don't, I'm not trying to pick on you and I don't want you to get upset with me. I'm just trying to cover it. I, for, in fairness to you, I could smell it, so I don't want to... Listen, the only thing I have in this world is my word. I'm not, I don't want to play any tricks or anything. I could smell it, so I wanted to ask you about it. Well, is that fair? That's fine, because, I mean, I, I get up early all the time for 4.30 in the morning. So by 10, 10 o'clock at night, I'm normally spent. And I, and I told the, whoever I was talking to there that I just, I remember just being tired. Yeah, we were drinking, but I just remember being tired and curling up in the chair. Since, who do you live there with? Who, what's his name? <laughs> and you two live there together? Yes. Does anyone we bought the house together. It's only us. When did you all buy the house? January. Of this year? Yes. <clears throat> um, 
How long have you been? Two and a half years. We're engaged. You said you had some animals there at the house. Four cats, a dog, and a snake. Wow. So you like you like animals. We do like edibles. I was telling the deputies he was like an animal whisperer. <coughs> there. Yeah, I know. We, I know when we were leaving there, you were, wanted to make sure they were safe and okay. The the cat that went over to the neighbors, Blue, the gray one, adopted us. She jumped into the truck with him one night when he was coming home from a friend's house and just slept on his lap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he loved animals. When's the last time um, you said you went to bed? What time did you from the, start there? What, what time did you go to bed last night? I mean, like I said, we were having some drinks. And we were, but I, I remember getting really tired around ten, and I just wanted to go to bed. And ten thirty-ish was when I remember ten thirty eleven maybe is when I remember going to curl up on the the, the chair. Because I slept on that, that big chair that's in my little office area downstairs. Okay. What were you guys drinking? Vodka. Just vodka? Anything else? I mean, vodka and, and, and Coke and water, you know, just, you know. Were you having drinks or were you guys taking shots? We were taking shots. Would you say, no, I don't know what you're... Uh, alcohol tolerances, would, what would you say you were intoxicated? I, when you went to well, I was taking, he's, he can drink, like, he could, I mean, he was always, he could drink you under the table. Does he he have had a, a high metabolism, and it was just always, he was just always running through booze. I was, I remember, I made a specific point of it, even earlier in the night, to tell him, to I want to stop. Let's take a break. And for an hour and a half, at least earlier in the night, I didn't drink a single thing. I just had water, and we ate and everything. We had <laughs> we we ate dinner, and that was it. And I mean, I got drunk, yeah, but not un obliterated. You know, like I would say, I was beyond being just buzzed. Because we did get drunk, but that's, I mean, that's what we did. We just, we were there at the house ourselves. That's what we would do we on a night when uh, we didn't have to get up and do anything the next morning. We had drinks. He always liked drinking. He was a drinker. Did he have a, would you say he had a drinking problem or no? He had a drinking problem. Okay. I can't bullshit you. I mean, his mom will tell you the same thing. He did. He would have admit it himself. What about you? Me? No. Besides the, besides the alcohol last night, were there any drugs? No. We're not the drug police, so we're, we're no. I'm just asking. No, he would never touch any of that. Okay. Because that was a deal breaker for me, and he knew that. He knew if he touched anything like that again, that he would lose me. Okay. And that was my number one deal breaker with him. And I'm assuming... So, you know, the drug police, he was not shy about it in his past when he was younger. He was into hard drugs. Okay. But it's been years since then because he knew that was my number one deal breaker. He touched it again. We were done. I didn't give a shit. That was it. What kind of drugs was he into previously? <sighs> Heroin, mostly. Um... I didn't know him at the time that he was on drugs. This is him telling me about his past. He smoked weed all the time. He was in heroin, coke, uh, every now and then maybe. I don't know anything else, really. Okay. But it had been a solid three years since he had touched any of it. You guys, you said that you all bought the house back in January. Did you move in then? Yes. Okay. Where did you meet him at? Tinder. Tinder? <laughs> That's a dating app, right? Yeah. Right. Then that was two and a half years ago? It was. April 26th was our first time meeting in person. When did you all actually start living together? Around the time that Irma hit. Irma hit? So that was last year, right? In October? It was 2017. Yeah, 17. So 2017. Yeah. Because he was living in this little, uh, 
looked like it might fall over if you blew on it too hard, kind of house with his brother. So whenever Irma hit, he moved all of his stuff to where I was living because it was a big brick townhouse. Thought it'd be a little bit safer there, mm-hmm. which it was. Um, and when, I mean, <coughs> just, he moved it there for the for the hurricane, but we just stayed living together. Since you had mentioned you all were drinking because you didn't. You drink on the nights that you when you didn't have to get up the next morning to do yeah, anything. Did, I, did, do either of you work? I do. Yeah, and he he helps me with work. He was working with um, just recently working. With what about you? Uh, I'm a cam model. Okay. So I work from home. Um, there's a room upstairs that you know has all my work stuff in it, and it's my work room, and then that's it. Um, let me take a, or can you take us back to yesterday, um, from the time you guys woke up and to kind of how we got here today? Yeah, I suppose you think. The best that you can. That's all we're asking for. <laughs> I woke up at four yesterday. It's adorable. Got yeah. up, I put on morning my or PM? morning. So I'm a morning person. So do you work like during the night? Or I work early mornings. Okay. So you got up around 4 p.m.? Well, I got up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yesterday. I got up at 4 a.m. Got up, got ready with my makeup and everything. Got on, I did, got on cam, did my work, logged off around 9.30 in the morning. And, and then I went and I put on my workout clothes, um, and he was awake. He put on his too because we had we had just gone and gotten um, new shoes together, new Nikes, so he could, we could work out together and everything. So we got dressed and we took the dog on a walk. So it was a 30-minute walk around the neighborhood. What time do you think you walked the dog yesterday? Around 10. Okay. Around 10 to 30 in the morning. What'd y'all do next? When we got back to the house, um, I went out to the garage to work out more. And he stayed in the house. He was cleaning up the kitchen for the dishes and dishwasher, that sort of thing. I went and I, I, I took a shower whenever I got back in. And we got ready, we, we put on our shoes again, we went up, we went to Home Depot. What time did you go to Home Depot? It was around 12, 12.30. In the afternoon? Yes. I know they're not open at midnight, but I just want to be... It was around midnight, yeah, after, after my shower and everything. What did y'all go to Home Depot for? <laughs> I saw like the wooden stuff in the garage because the garage door was open, so I was just curious. Well, the big pumpkin bit in the yard. Oh. Yes. Um, and the, the spikes that came with him were only these little forage things. And with the rain that we'd been having, the ground was so soft, he fell right over. So we went, we got 18 inch garden spikes and just put them in the ground. Which one Depot did y'all go to? The one, um, I don't know if it's Riverview branded, the one that's 10 minutes north of the house, off of 301. Right there by the wall. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. All right, what do you guys do once you get back to, uh, or did you go anywhere after Home Depot? We went to Publix because we didn't really have anything for lunch in the house and he wanted to cook us lunch. What did he make? (laughs) Play. He got a big filet, cut it in half for the two of us, and cooked it up perfect. For who, who did he cook it up for? Me and him. Oh. His was medium rare and mine was blue, because that's how I liked my steak. He cooked it up perfect for us. We had that, some bread, a little bit of cheese. What time was lunch? It was a late lunch for us. It was around 2 o'clock. Then we sat down to eat. Okay. 
Were you all, when did you, when did, were there any drinks at, at lunch? A glass of wine. The bottle is still sitting in the kitchen. We only had a glass each. What kind of wine was it? It was a red, I'm not sure exactly. We got a Belgo at Publix. Okay, what happened next? Um, we had just had our windows replaced in the house uh, in the last several weeks. So, um, one of the guys from the company came by to put on the last bit of the, the like covers, the sliners or whatever, that we had to wait until after the inspection was done. At three o'clock he came by to do that. He was right on time, which I was surprised because no one else in that, the workers, everything, they were always, <laughs> when they were doing the windows, were so off with their time. They would say tomorrow and it would be next week kind of thing. Yeah, when you're using subcontractors like that, it's sometimes it happens. So they had to wait to put the screens on, you said? It was uh, like the cut for the sliding glass doors, okay. the covers to you know, hide all the screws and stuff. Oh, so just like touch up, finish yeah. up work, gotcha. Just things that the inspector needed to see was there, right? And he had to skip and put the covers on that stuff. Gotcha. Do you know who the company was that came out there to do Reese's the windows? Reese's Windows. Reese's? Yeah, R-E-E-C-E -E -E. Windows. How long did that take them yesterday to do that? 20 minutes, maybe. It wasn't there long. That's pretty efficient. Or you just don't have that Oh, yeah, had to do was the sliding glass door. Ah, okay. So. Okay. All right. Once window man leaves, what happens next? Um, I had to do some work on the computer. Um, we had some, some emails and stuff like that. So I did that until probably 5, 5.30ish. Um, he was just watching TV while I was doing that. Um, Is this, do you have a computer up in your workroom? I do, and I also have one in the office downstairs. Okay. Are they uh, laptops or no. uh, desktops? Desktops. Okay. What time were you done checking your emails and stuff? It was probably 5.30ish. Okay. Um, from there, I remember, um, I remember vacuuming, clean, clean, I mean, we have husky, vacuuming is part of our daily routine. Lots of shitting. I remember vacuuming, and we were trying to figure out something to do for the night, if we wanted to go anywhere or anything, but we ended up, we played some card games for a bit. Do you remember what time you started playing card games? It was around 6, 6.15, because the animals, the cats and the dog always get fed at 7 at night, so they started circling us, so we were playing. <laughs> they were like clockwork, huh? Always. They, were, they started to circle us around, getting closer to 6.37, so we got up and fed them, and then... Uh, you remember what kind of games you all were playing? Rummy, blackjack, kind of, you know, just anything. The reason I'm asking because that, you know, there's card games and there's drinking games. I don't know if you all were playing drinking games or if you were just playing rummy or solitaire. We were playing, I mean, we we played like when it got to you lost this much, yeah, you take a shot, but after three shots, we, we said, okay, Game that's more. enough. Like, yeah, like, let's take a break, have some water for a minute. We stopped. Mm -hmm. We did. What time did you guys stop? Around, around, it was around the time that we had a few days, most probably around seven. Okay. That's kind of what I was going to ask. When did, when do you think you started drinking? Was it when you started playing the card games? Was it before It was that? a little bit after that, yeah. So right after you started, you started drinking? He had been having beers throughout the day, but that's, I mean, that's his thing. Like, I mean, he, he drinks like a fish in fucking water. So while you're answering emails and he's watching TV, he's maybe having a few beers? Maybe a beer or two. Actually, I don't think he was having beers at that time because he was low on beer, so he wasn't really... What's his choice of beer? That depends on if he's just drinking beer to drink beer or if he's drinking beer to enjoy it. All right, so he beer likes to drink beer. Beer to drink beer, Corona, Bud Light, Lime, recently Bud Light Lime are normally his picks. Um, Beer, if he's trying to enjoy it, he likes IPAs, he hates lagers. IPAs. 
Lagunitas. He doesn't like lagers. He yes. likes IPAs. Yes, he likes uh, he likes Lagunitas, Sweetwater. Um, those are ones he enjoys. Sierra drinking. Nevada. Because right, yeah. those are a little bit heavier on the alcohol content, so they're. But he only drinks those when he's wanting to just sit down and enjoy mm -hmm. beer. He wasn't drinking that last day. He was just having Coronas. And the, the the box, I believe, is still in the refrigerator in the garage. You, was, you said that's the beer he drinks when he just wants to just drink. Just them. have a beer, you okay. know, not trying to sit down and like really enjoy it. Just like, fuck, just have a beer kind of thing. Okay. We'll just have a Corona or a Bud Light kind of thing. Um, so you all feed the cats around seven? Yeah, the cats. How long does that normally okay. take you? With four cats, a dog, and a four snake? Four cats, a dog, I mean, the snake doesn't eat every day. Yeah. But um, it takes from them from the start of it till they're all done probably 20 minutes. Okay. And we have to watch them because the dog will try and eat their food. And she did try to eat it last night. And we had to make sure we were kept. She tried to eat their food. Dogs and we had to we make sure she went outside to use the bathroom so the cats could finish. <coughs> once, the feeding, once the feeding process was done, what do y'all do next? talked about stuff we talked to um the there's one of the papers probably still on the kitchen counter that has like a rough drawing that he did of like the outline of like here's our house here's our sidewalk because he did that halloween i love halloween it's such a big thing for me and he wanted our house to we needed more lights outside he wanted to be more illuminated not just have this big pumpkin man thing standing out there he wanted more lights and things to illuminate the other decorations that we had out there so he drew a whole little diagram <laughs> and we were talking about the lights and everything we were gonna go get <laughs> We said, maybe not this year, it won't be the best, but we'll go get everything on clearance right after Halloween. Yeah, that's usually when you get the best deals. That's what I always do. And whatever's left over, you know, because we're trying to clear our shelves for inventory. Yeah. Um, so when you guys are, where are you all talking, you said at the table? Is that in the kitchen? or In the island, in the kitchen. That's, I mean, uh, we like to, we like to stand and walk around a lot, I mean, whatever, we're just talking, it helps us, you know, think and everything. We were just talking, walking around the island, you know. Did you guys start drinking back at that time again, or when did you guys start picking up the... We started drinking again around 7.30, 7.45-ish. I mean, no, it was, it was 8, actually, because we, <laughs> we sent uh, Alexa reminder for me to put the put the food in the oven what and that took uh, it took it took uh, 30 45 minutes for it to heat up we had uh, it was a taco fiesta mixing that he had cooked previously and we had a lot of it left over so we put it in a bowl and put it in the freezer to keep it for later and we took that out earlier the day and thought it and we're having we're heating that up and having that for dinner and that was around 8 o'clock, you said, when you put it in? When I put it in, yeah. Right. And we had a shot or two, but we kept drinking. We were drinking water, and talking, and the food was done, and we each had plenty of food. Like, I was, we were actually proud of ourselves because sometimes we just, like, end up just going to bed and not eating dinner because, you know, when you, when, I mean, sometimes when you drink, you just, eh, food. You know, like your stomach fills up and kind of swells up. And yeah, you just don't want to eat like you know you should, but sometimes you don't. And that was, it. but last night we didn't. We actually like we stopped drinking purposefully. Stopped drinking. Made ourselves just drink water, mm -hmm. and then we had dinner. A good like filling dinner. Like you had tortillas. And there was ground beef. You know all the tacoy stuff and stuff. And a really big filling dinner, and, and we felt good after that. Like. We felt fine. You said it took about how long to cook? Um, like 30, 45 30, minutes? 30, 45 minutes, yeah. It was, it was still really cold, I guess, because it was maybe a little bit still frozen from the freezer. Okay. And it was just the two of you there? Yes. Did anybody else come over? No. When's the last time anybody else had ever come over to the house? Like a visitor? 
like a friend or something. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Um, um, honestly, we keep to ourselves a lot. Uh, no, he had, he had, um, in September. That's the last time anybody came to the house? Yeah. The screen guy wasn't there, right? No. He left. Uh, he left. He left after he did his job. Okay. So, I mean, besides the screen guys, I mean, we never really had, we didn't have anyone actually over at the house. So, that that, so last night when you guys were eating dinner, it was just the two of you alone? Yeah. Having some drinks and eating some Mexican food? Yeah. Who does not love Mexican food? I love it. Um, all right, so after dinner, what happens? What do you guys do next? We're at about 9.45 now, I'd say. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, we had, I was, um, the Truly, the the hard seltzers that have like, um, oh, hard seltzers. the hard seltzers that maybe, you know, about the same as much as the beer. I, I was having one of those, and he was having a beer, Corona. Did you drink a White Claw? No. You know what that is? I know what they are, yeah. That's like the new fad. I know. I don't, they're I'm too sweet asking, for me. You got into that? Okay. They're too sweet for me. Okay. I like the Trulies. There's less sweetness and there's less sugar and stuff. So you're drinking hard seltzer and he's drinking... I was drinking that. So, I mean, I was having that. He was having a beer. I was basically having the girly version of a beer. Okay. Essentially. And we were doing that. We were just we were just talking about things. We were talking about... Um, we pulled up the, the credit card, the Capital One, because we... Or... I'm sorry? We share a card. Uh-huh. The Capital One card. We share a card. We were bringing it up and looking at it because of the charges and everything on it. And because it's a cashback card. And our goal was always whenever the cashback got to a thousand, we were going to take ourselves on a vacation. And we had just hit around 600. That's a card you guys share. <laughs> yes, it was his card, and he got me added onto it. And we were talking last night about putting him onto my bank accounts and everything, so he could help help manage the money more and stuff. And it just just both of us just keep a look over it. And we were talking. We were talking about that. We talked about the Halloween decorations a bit more. We talked about vacations, and what we wanted to do, and you know, kind of just trying to sort our lives out, kind of thing, like make sure we had a clear path with what we wanted to do with our lives. Are you all on the same page when it comes to all that? I'm sorry, you said absolutely. <laughs> we wanted. To So there wasn't any like disagreements or any fighting, anything like that? We didn't want kids. We had our animals. If anything, we wanted more of them. We wanted to travel the world. We wanted to just live life with each other. What was his mood last night when you guys were talking about this? Is he just kind of talking about it and brushing it off? Was he excited about it? Was he, was he stressed about anything? The only thing that stressed him out was that he felt he wasn't doing his part to help with the house and money because I did make the majority of the money, especially with him being out of a job. But I reassured him, as I had plenty of times, that him not just because he wasn't actually working and getting a paycheck didn't mean anything because he was at the house taking care of the animals, cooking, cleaning, helping me, helping me, helped us, helped me have more time to, to make money. So in your opinion, he, he's holding up his end of the deal just Absolutely. by doing the housework and everything like that. Absolutely. And he was, and not even just doing the housework, he was fixing things around the house. There was, I mean, we had a leak in, in our in our AC drain pipe. And there was a hole in the ceiling and we were talking about fixing that. And, and there was a hole where he started, he cut out the, where our dog started to chew the drywall. He cut it all out, and all he needed to do was put the drywall in and match it up. <laughs> he was doing things, I mean, we just bought the house in January, so I mean, there was of course things that we needed to, or wanted to, to change to suit us. And he was working all of those things. How long did that, that uh, credit, when you guys were talking about that, 
vacations and all that. How long did that last? We kind of got lost doing it. We were just talking about it, dreaming, having a good time. Maybe thirty minutes, just of that. And then once that was, once you guys wrapped that up, what happened next? Or what did you all do? Um. I mean, we were talking about vacations and money and stuff at the same time, and I feel like I I know what happened next. As I I've been having a stomach issue lately, where I get I just start burping a lot, and I get the hiccups, and from the hiccups I start I throw up. I didn't get to throw it because he helped me calm down and just control my breathing and like make the hiccups go away. And that's what happened next. But for me, that's a really, it's a really exhausting process. You may be hiccuping for 15 minutes. And, I mean, sometimes it's longer for me. I mean, normally the hiccups can be anywhere from 10 or 15 minutes to it's been an hour of just straight hiccups. And that's annoying as shit and exhausting at the same time. So I'm not sure exactly how long I had the hiccups last night, but I know that that started up again. I don't know why, what it is with me. What did, what did he do while you had the hiccups? He was just there with me, telling me to breathe, to calm down. Was he trying to help you? Absolutely. Breathe, calm down, hold my breath. He was breathing with me, helping me to steady myself. And still just the two of you there, right? Yes. So that last, you don't know how long that lasts, but- I'm what, not sure exactly, no. What do you do, what, 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 goes, what goes on next? Um, we what time do you think you had those hiccups? 10-ish, 10-15, around 10-15. Is that, I'm sorry, I said that again? 10, 10-15-ish is when they started. And you had mentioned earlier in, in our conversation that you probably had your last drink around 10. So is it fair to say that you had... You yeah, because I, and I stopped drinking when I got the hiccups okay. because it, I mean... I don't want to have any drink whenever, I mean, those hiccups fucking suck. They're exhausting. I hate them. You said it sometimes leads you to throw up? Sometimes it does, yeah. So it you doesn't don't want to be drinking not, and then just throwing it right back up. And, and, and it's not like a, a drinking thing for me either. They just happen and right. I start hiccuping and then that leads to throwing up and no matter what I'm doing. Um, and, uh, fuck. I had the and then yeah because I had the hiccups and whenever he was like breathe with me doing this and he knocked over my truly your what he my my drink my truly uh, that I had door. that's what, yeah. where were you at when he was we trying were to in the you? in the kitchen by the island okay and he was and he knocked it over and spilled most of it <laughs> um how'd that make you feel. I didn't care. I had 20 more in the fridge outside. What we is, got a we got a bogo. A truly, truly, yeah. That's yeah. the hard seltzer, right? Yes. We got a we got a buy 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 two get one. So I had plenty of them outside of the garage in the fridge. I didn't care if he spilled it. It didn't matter. I would just go get another. I didn't, but I could if I wanted one. Just go get another one. Did your, did your hiccups had, and stuff subdue? Did they stop or? They did. He helped me breathe. I had a hiccup that like, oh, the last, I remember specifically the last one was like hiccup with throw up. Mm -hmm. I like hiccup threw up, but I made it to the bathroom and in the toilet kind of, it was just a little spit up. Um, yeah. And then, then my hiccup stopped after that. And I started, I remember it was getting late. And, cause yeah, it was probably, I mean, 10.30ish, maybe. I don't I wasn't keeping, not like I was keeping tabs on the time. Right. But, so 10.30 sounds about right. And I remember getting tired and I just wanted to go to bed. Okay, did you go to bed? Is that what you did next? I think, well he was, he, you get talking when you get drinking and stuff, and he was still having his beers. And I think, I mean, I remember he was, I remember he was just still going and talking about stuff. And I was kind of like, yeah, I'm here, but I really, I'm just, I want to go to bed. Kind of like one of those, like, uh huh. Kind of, like, I'm tired. I'm married. 
I'm there with you. All right? like, I, know, I know what you mean. You and me both. <laughs> so, when you're tired, you're ready to go to bed. Yeah. And the other person wants to keep talking. And sometimes you're, you're listening and you're doing the old uh, head nod. Yeah. But yeah. then when they say, what, you know, they ask you a question, they trick you. They're like, oh, you're, you're not listening to me. Especially because me and I mean, I would get up so much earlier than him. So, like, right. our sleep schedules were off. 4.30 is early. And then he didn't wake up until 9 or something, you know, like, right. that our sleep schedules are always off. And so, like, like I said, I mean, 10, 30, 11, I'm fucking spent. I'm just, like, mm -hmm. doing that, uh-huh. What, what was he talking about? Uh, I can't. I mean, no, I can't. It was, we were, what were, I mean, I was tired of shit at the point. <laughs> I mean, if you don't remember, you don't remember. I don't want to. Okay. I think we were just. We were, we were, we were actually, I remember what it was we were talking about because um, his mom recently has, he has health issues and stuff. His mom's a nurse. Mm -hmm. And she said that you, you might have, and we were talking, we got into talking about that again because we've gone through the symptoms, the list of it and everything and talked about it. We were just talking about like, my planner is probably still in the kitchen that has, be an adult, call this person, this health insurance, all this stuff. Because we were going to go him checked out, we're pretty sure. Um, his mother's been a nurse for years and years. She has more fucking master's degrees than I can count. But when we saw her last, she like felt like where his thyroid, and, like the little gland should be, and it's enlarged and everything. Like she thinks he, she legit thinks he has. And we we got started talking about that again because I mean it's a big issue for him. It's funny because for him, it's always. He can't eat enough. He's always just breaking through calories. Like his Fitbit will even like I've taken his pulse and counted the beats per minute. I've taken I watched his Fitbit say he just sits there and is at 120, you know, with his heart rate. How long would you say that conversation last? Because this is about. I don't know. I was, I was like I said I was just getting tired. What what and that once that I mean. Did you but fall asleep during the conversation, or did you? I started to get tired. He, because he always knows when I start to get tired, I'll just start to like. And when it's that late, sometimes I'll just start to close my eyes. I don't even notice it. If we were sitting down, he wouldn't. We were on the couch. He always just like tips me over, so I just lie down on the couch. Where were you guys at when you were having that conversation? We were in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. After that conversation happens, what happens? After talking in the kitchen, I I remember going to lie down on the the chair in the office. Now, what time do you think that was? Eleven, maybe. Okay. When you go to sleep, um, it's still just you and him. Yes. In the house. Okay. Is he awake when you fall asleep? Yes, he's always awake when I go to sleep. Was he in the Was he in the office with you, or? I don't believe so. I think he was in the kitchen. Okay. When he was talking about um, that was the conversation about what was his mood then? Was he Was he worried about it? Was he? He was never worried about anything. So he's just generally talking about it because his mom thought that maybe what he has, or you guys thought that's what he has. He uh, he didn't like talking about it because he I mean his health issues have been going on for a while, but he fit the bill for everything. But what I'm getting at is while he's having this conversation, is he is he having it like in a panic, like oh my gosh, I may have all this stuff, I, there's all this stuff wrong with me, or he's just telling you about it? This is a conversation we've had many times. We were just going over it again, like because we were talking about health insurance and like getting to a doctor because. He, we believe that he fatigued, the coldness, uh, I mean, everything. I can go down the list. I hit a lot of the symptoms, and it makes a lot of sense for my body type and how I eat and work out and stuff. Um, so we were talking about, we were talking about that, the health insurance, and, and, and that all together, kind of in the, the same to put. Gotcha. Did you, uh, so you fall asleep in the chair in the office. Did you wake up at all during the night? What time did you wake up this morning? Uh, probably 20 minutes before I go. I don't know what time it was. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's 11.33 a.m. 
don't know. I normally don't sleep in. But whatever time, I remember waking up and I didn't see him around. And I, I, didn't, I saw the, the kitchen was... I didn't see him outside at first. I didn't see him there. I went upstairs and I checked the bedroom. I thought he went to bed up in upstairs. I checked upstairs. And then I came back down again. And I saw Farrah by the sliding glass door. She wanted outside. She wanted to go outside. So I opened the door. I was really... I just told him. He was sitting in the chair, slumped over at the table. He was cold. I pulled him to the ground. I'm sorry. I know this must be very difficult for you. It feels like a dream. It feels like a nightmare because when I've had nightmares, this has been it. Losing him. When you pulled when you pulled him onto the ground, what what did you do? What'd you try to do? Or did you do anything? I grabbed his face, I tried to talk to him. His eyes were open, his peoples weren't doing anything, and that scared the shit out of me. I begged him to come back to me, because I can't do this myself. I put my thing in, I tried to check for a pulse. to do. I ran in the house. I grabbed a cloth and put warm water on it and came back and did the same thing. I tried to start CPR and then I went back in the house and I got my phone. <laughs> it was on speakerphone with the operator while I was trying to get this. What kind of phone do you have? <laughs> note, uh, the note, whatever, note 9, the note 10, I don't know. What color is it? It's blue and an otter box, so it's black with the otter box. Up. What the phone number? 6369758. Do you know the uh, carrier? Obviously, I'm sure you do. AT&T. Does it have any passcodes? It has a thing, uh, the code is 0925. Okay. You try to give him CPR. And then, so, you're on the phone to give him CPR. Did anything else happen, or did the deputies just show up? <laughs> she said that they were almost there, and I went and unlocked the door. And I went back to him, and then he came Do you know where your phone's at right now? In the kitchen, I believe. I, I don't, I, I can't tell you exactly. I remember it was in the kitchen. I noticed that the house is two stories. Yeah. How many bedrooms are on the bottom? No bedrooms on the bottom. Where's the office? It's, um, uh, if you walk in the front door, it's to the left. It's to the left. It's Where's the kitchen? Uh, uh so this, the, the stairs are in the middle. And okay. it's around it's a big circle pretty much. So the office is to the left but the kitchen's on the other side of the stairs. So when you walked out of the office you said you slept in the office last night, right? When you walked out of the office, you had to walk you said you walked towards um, the outside. You didn't you didn't see him out there, right? I didn't. Mean, and then you went upstairs to check? Yes. But you had to pass the kitchen? 
to go upstairs. Yeah. I've never been inside, so that's why I'm kind of asking. So downstairs, there's the office, so the front door and the office, and then there's the laundry, the bathroom, but then the kitchen and the living room here, and then stairs in the middle. And I, I walked around, but I didn't see him. You walked around where? Around the whole bottom stairs. In the kitchen? Yeah, I living went from room? the office to the laundry, the kitchen, to the living room, and then I didn't see him, so I went upstairs, but I didn't see him in bed. The bed was still made from whenever we made it the previous day. So I was confused, and I went back downstairs, and I, so the dog wanted to go outside, and so I was going to let her out, and then when I was walking towards the sliding glass doors is when I saw him at the table. When you wake up in the office, where would you expect him to be? If, if he just, if it was a normal night, you went to bed first, you assumed he went to bed somewhere, where would you have expected him to be once you woke up from the office? Either in bed or on the couch. Okay, so Sometimes he would stay downstairs to watch TV more, um, so he didn't wake me up and, and cuddle the dog and the cats and fall asleep there. Or he came to bed with me and watched TV in bed. So, you, so the couch he would have maybe fell asleep on would be downstairs? Yes. So is that why you first circled the staircase downstairs and then went upstairs to check the bed? Yes. Okay. I know, I, I, know you, I just want to make sure. You said you didn't wake up at all last night in the middle of the night? No, I don't know. No. I've been pretty, I mean, <coughs> lately I've been really tired. Um, so when I've been going to sleep, I just cloak out. I've been doing, I mean... I'm just tired. <laughs> how are your sleep? Been, how are your sleeping habits? I mean, do you normally sleep through the night or? Um, lately, yeah. When I'm not stressed or anything, yeah, and I've been doing really good lately. Um, this past week, not lying, I'm on my period, so I've been dead ass tired. So when I hit the pillow, I'm out until my alarms go off in the morning. But other than that, you don't you don't have any issues with sleeping. Not particularly. I mean, sometimes I wake up in the night to go pee, but that's about it. Do you take any kind of prescribed medications or anything? No. Neither does he. Neither does he? No. Um, when you woke up, or did, did you hear anything? No. Last night? No. Like in the night? No. What do you think happened? I mean, you know, you understand just from our standpoint, obviously, uh, we weren't there last night. If you could just take your best guess of what you thought could have happened. I don't know. <coughs> I woke up to just see the kitchen a bloody mess. Did anything happen between the two of you in the kitchen to cause that bloody mess? Did he have any issues with anybody else? In what way do you mean? Like, like does he owe, I mean, would anybody, is there anybody out there that wants to hurt him? Shouldn't be, I mean, maybe my ex, he did try and fucking shoot him before. When was that? Uh, to, 2017, June, July. Who's your ex? Christopher Harrison, Hillsborough County. You guys are the ones that showed up to take him away. He spent two birthday? nights in jail. Um, his birthday is, fuck, uh, January 11th. January 28th, 20th, oh, fuck, I don't remember. Uh, 1991. Is he still living in Hillsborough County? No, I believe he's living back in Polk County with mommy. When was the last time you talked to him? The night he got arrested. Do you know his phone number? No. And that was the June or July 2017? I believe arrested? it was, okay. I believe it was June, the end of June. What was he arrested for? Uh, domestic violence and assault with a deadly weapon, two counts for each. 
He got pissy because I had him at the house. But mind you, he had just had a girl upstairs that he was fucking and sent on her way. But I was sick. He had bronchitis. I picked him up from work and brought him to the house. <coughs> I explained all of this to Chris saying, he's sick. I have little, I'm going to pick up prescriptions now for him. He's sick as a dog. But we, I had just adopted a new cat too. So we were, that night happened to be downstairs in the living room um, playing with the cat. Normally, whenever I would come over, if Chris was there, we would keep to my room, you know, just to avoid conflict and all that. But we were downstairs, we had a new cat. Why well, shouldn't have been a problem? Like, he was just fucking a girl upstairs in his room. But he had a, I don't know, wanted to fucking show his dick that night, and he came downstairs and started arguing. And went upstairs because he was just gonna, he put on his clothes, he was just gonna leave. But then. Chris started yelling at me and back and forth yelling and um, it ended up with me and grabbed me and just started kissing me and Chris had his phone funny as shit as he was recording all of us the entire time was just recording us kissing and then he said something turned and looked at him and then Chris just whipped out a fucking Glock pointing straight at him intending to shoot him um, and my dumb ass stepped in front of the gun and then he called the cops on himself. <laughs> I have the video and everything. This there's an intruder in my house. So he got arrested for that because he's just stupid. Is that the last incident between the two of them? Yes. Does Christopher know where you all live? Uh, I hope fucking not. I mean, did you, have you told him? No, absolutely not. I have. I mean, he tried to message me on like social media and stuff, and I told him basically go fuck yourself um, anytime you try to contact me. Okay. So. And that's the last time you physically have seen Chris is when he got arrested. Yes, that night. <clears throat> what about anybody else other than Christopher? Any issues or has expressed any concern about anybody else not, wanting to harm him? Nothing, not, no, absolutely not wanting to harm him, no. Have you ever talked about wanting to harm himself? Yes. In the past, yes, but I didn't think, I never, I don't believe that. When, when's the Fuck last? him, he always told me he was gonna die young. And I hated him every time he was at him. Who are we, who's him? Who are we talking about here? I'm talking about, he always told me he had a fear like he was going to die young. When's the last time he told you that? It's been a long while, probably a year almost. He wasn't too happy with himself whenever we first started seeing each other. And it took him a while, but he finally started to... Of life. <laughs> Shit, we were planning going to, to Key West, to Mexico, to Bali. We had trips we were planning. Did he ever to say that? To break his soul finger under this stupid glove. We're engaged. We were going to get married. Did he ever say he was going to hurt himself or anything like that? Not really. Did he say mention anything of that last night? No. About wanting to harm himself? No. Did he see that? Um, did he seem upset or depressed or anything? I know he was stressed. No, but he always did his damnedest to hide it from me whenever he was sad or depressed. So, he did everything he could to hide it from me, even though I could tell there was always a part of me that could tell when he was upset or sad. Mm -hmm. But he did his damnedest to hide it from me as best as he could. When uh, when you woke up this morning, was there anybody else in the house? No. Were the windows and doors and everything shut? Yes. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to wrap my head around everything. What what do you think happened? I don't know. What injuries did he have? I saw the two cuts on his arms. I know they were deep, but what what why? I haven't been in the house, that's why I'm asking you. You were, you were there, obviously. You have, you have his blood on you. I don't want to see him. You're trying to get CPR and, and help him, I understand. 
You said he had two deep cuts on his arm? I, you know I, see, right? I think they were on, like, his arm. I, I'm so, I mean, at that point, I started to freak out. I don't know. It might have been one cut. It might have been more than that. That's all I saw, though. I know there was one, like, deep cut on his arm. But even, I, I didn't even think that that was enough to bleed out from it. But maybe it would. And there was a broken... I, I don't remember the glass break yet. There was, there was a broken glass in the kitchen that I walked past. Uh, and there was a there was a broken beer bottle in the garage, um, which but that's that's I mean I can't attribute that to anything because the way we have the garage set up right now, it's kind of hard to open the garage the door to the refrigerator sometimes. And I just, I've been drop I drop shit all the time. So I you can't. Do you sleepwalk? No. Does he sleepwalk? No. You pointed to, just a second ago, you pointed to your right arm. Is, is he right-handed or left-handed? He's right-handed. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Did you see any other injuries anywhere else? No, I don't remember. did you make any other phone calls? Does he have a phone? What's what's? It? Did you use your phone or? I don't remember. I grabbed a phone. What kind of? Uh, let me, let me see. I'm trying to look. Maybe this will help me. I wrote it down. Uh, the number of that call. Uh, so you must have used his, his his phone. What what kind of phone does he have? He's got an Android, uh, LG. What color is it? it uh, I think it's black. It's in an otter box, so. Do you know what color the otter box is? Black, yeah. What's the password? I don't know. I just used my fingerprint to get it. <laughs> um, six, three, two, seven, zero, I believe, maybe. Or six zero, one of the two, I think. I just use my fingerprint whenever I need his phone, so. You have your fingerprint set up on his phone? Yes, we both have our fingerprints set up on each other's phone. Okay. Yeah. What was the number to his phone? I'm sorry. His seven, seven, four. Six. Eight, I'm sorry, six. Eight, it was eight, two, I'm sorry. It's eight, two, three. Zero, six, five, nine. Zero, six, five, nine. You know, is he got Sprint as well? He has Sprint, yes. I believe. Uh, yeah. Are you all on the same plan? No, we're not. He's on AT&T. Oh, I'm sorry. AT &T. I think he's on Sprint. No, Verizon. Verizon, I believe. I had mentioned that on plenty of times that we need to just get on the same plan because it would be cheaper. Oh, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> do you have any injuries on your person? Any scratches or cuts or anything? None that I noticed. I mean, um, I was wearing. You weren't wearing those gloves. No. Somebody, the deputy at the scene, gave them to you. Here, let me get the trash can. Sorry. You can put those in the in your, if you want. What happened? I see you got a band aid on your. I was just going to ask you about that. What happened there? We just went to the outlet stores. Outlets and outlets. Mm hmm. And we went to the Nike store and got new shoes. I have a blister from mine from when we were taking us, taking the dog on a walk. <laughs> Where's the blister at? I'm going to take the mandate We'll keep it on for a second. What we'd like to do is that uh, we're going to have a, um, a young lady or uh, a young man come and just, just photograph you, take some of the photographs of you. And when we get to it, we'll, uh, we'll have the, you move that um, so we can get a picture of that, okay? Um, would you mind I think I did grab the glass, though. I was going to say, would you mind just taking those gloves off for me? Can you put them right in that trash can? Yeah, I have a little cotton in here. Can, can we see where you're going to? Right there. And that's from what? I think it's from grabbing the glass. Or, no. 
because there, I know there was the broken glass this morning. I'm sorry, this morning's not the clearest thing in my mind. Wait. Do you know what, wh where? I remember it was a, a hard rock glass, I believe, in the kitchen. And I think I picked up a piece of it on the floor. What about your other hand there? I don't want to get all up in your girl. Can you just put your hands up just so I can see there? What's, I know you got a lot of stuff on your it's hands. It's just blood. Um, I, last, or a week and a half ago, I grabbed a hot pan and burnt my hands. Okay, so yeah, I can see a little bit of discolor there. Yeah, it's still tender. If I burnt my hand, that was my own dumbass fault. I just grabbed a hot pan and finished Um, let me see your ring. That's your guys' engagement ring? Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> he was saving up to make a formal proposal to me whenever he could afford the ring that he knew I wanted. I told him I didn't give a shit about that, but he wanted it to be perfect for me. <laughs> so this was more of a promise ring than anything. It was a, a step between his official proposal to me. It was... Can I see your other, uh, your outside of your room? I don't think there's anything. <laughs> is that a, what is that, a tear or a tear? Yeah. No, I'm looking at the, uh, is that a cut in the, uh, oh, that's just kids. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any other injuries up to your arms underneath your sleeve at all? No, I mean, these sleeves don't really come up, so if there was, there would be a cut on the shirt. Is this the same outfit you woke up in this morning? And is this the same one you guys... This uh, is what I was wearing last night, yes. Okay. So you went to bed in that, you woke up in that, you haven't yeah. changed or anything? Yeah. <clears throat> and I was wearing a t-shirt yesterday and it was cold. So he gave me his shirt to wear. Um, I want to ask you just a couple of questions um, that maybe they're hard for me to ask, but I don't want you to take offense to them, okay? Um, these situations, we, our job is to gather all the facts and try to figure out what happened, all right? So you're not the first person that I've asked these kinds of questions to. Yeah. But I have to ask them because I want to figure out what happened in that. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, take it. Yeah. Um. Are you? Hold on a second. Um. Obviously, based on what you told me. And if anything's correct that I say, please correct me. Based on what, what you told me, it was only you and Matthew in the house last night. <coughs> you guys were drinking Sorry, throughout, throughout the evening, having taken some shots. Uh, after you guys fed the cats around 7, you took a little break. Then you started drinking again, playing some card games, started talking about Capital One. Yeah, um, the card games are earlier in the night, but I mean, yeah, it was right. just a sorry, card games. A, cats. It was just kind of a, a chill night. Like, yeah, we played some games, we talked, and just you fall asleep around ten thirty, eleven, in the chair inside the uh, the office, which is downstairs, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you woke up this morning. You come out, you don't see him, but the kitchen's in a bloody mess. And you find him outside sitting in a chair. You try to give him CPR when you call 911. You don't know what happened to him? Was there any fighting or arguing last night? Do you all have a history of any kind of fighting or arguing? Not, not nothing. I mean, couples argue sometimes. We never really fought. We would argue. Have you guys ever been physical with one another? No. Not sexually. I'm talking about like physical fighting. Physical fighting. The, as physical as we got, it would be one of us having to fucking say, 
like if we got too drunk just sit down and chill out kind of thing like it wasn't hitting pushing anything like that it was more just like sit down and calm down He did drink a lot, yeah, and there were times where I had to, like, make him just stop and, and drink water, you know, kind of be like, you can't, you're not drinking any more liquor, just sit down and, and you know, here's a fucking bottle of water, chill out kind of shit. And he would normally just fall over on the couch and fall asleep. That's why I checked downstairs, because I thought he was just asleep on the couch. So there was no arguing last night? No. We were having a great time. Was there anything physical? Violent. He was never violent. Not okay. to me. Were you violent with him at all? <coughs> you didn't push him or punch him, scratch him, anything like that? No. And he didn't do anything to you? No. We know we were never like that. I mean, like I said, couples argue, but we never got to that point. We'd yell at each other and go to bed and wake up and be like, Fuck, I was a dick, I'm sorry and that was the end of it. Like we'd move on from it. So nothing, nothing happened last night for him to get upset or violent with you, right? No. Was there anything that happened or that would have caused you to get violent with him? No. Did you do anything to harm him? No. Do you know who harmed him? No. Before you got, before, nine, before the cops showed up, did you move or remove anything from the house? No. Did you go anywhere? No. Talk to anybody from the mummy no. tribe to when you called mommy? No, no, the only thing I cared about was him. Do you guys normally keep your garage door open or closed? It's normally closed. Was it closed this morning when the cops got there? Um, yeah, I believe, I think, I think it was. I honestly, this morning was a blur, I can't remember. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't remember. When you guys come, go to and from the house, do you use the front door? It depends. Sometimes we use the front door, sometimes we go out through the garage. It's really up in the, I mean, we, we do either one, depending on you know, what we're doing. But just recounting um, your, your day yesterday, the last time you get home is when you guys come home from Home Depot and Publix and make the lunch, right? Yeah. So at that point, do you know if the garage was ever closed or open? I remember it was open because I opened it when I was working out. And That's whenever right. we went to leave for Home Depot, I said, I made a comment about it, and he forgot to hit the button. So when we came back from Publix, I remember it was open because I was I told him, I was like, you, should, you didn't close it. And he was like, yeah, it's my bad. I just forgot to. Well, I'm saying once you guys got home, though, throughout the night, did it get closed at some point? I, I don't know. We were in and out of the garage because we were trying to figure out the fucking the fog machine thing that we got with the, the hose and that little the Halloween decoration thing. And so I can't I, I can't say, but I think so, because we I mean, normally we kept it closed because our cat. I do remember it was closed. OK. Because. Probably around 10, I do remember this now. Um, we couldn't put eyes on Blueberry, the little gray cat. She's, she likes to wander, go outside and all that. I thought she might have gone outside, outside, but she was in the garage. So I do remember the garage door was closed. Just to keep her in? Or? Yeah, because sometimes she, uh, you open a door and that cat is like lightning right behind you. She wants to go outside so badly. So you can say about 10 o'clock last night, you can say for sure uh, the garage is closed. Pretty, yeah. Let me ask you, I think this might be about the last question I may have. You may have some more. Um, sometimes, I know with two guys sitting in here, it's hard for sometimes a, a woman to talk to them or open up to them. Okay, I, I know that. Um, but I just wanted to give you the chance or the opportunity if, I know you said there was nothing physical between the two of you last night, no. violent, you know, violent-wise. Um, was there any, I'm, not, I'm only asking this for investigation purposes, were you guys intimate with one another last night at all? No, because I'm still on my period. Okay. When's the last time you guys were, if you remember? Um, I believe yesterday morning I stopped at Jake to wake him up, so if you want to count that. That's intimate. Um, so, 
sometimes arguing can lead to something physical, which then can lead to something else. Did you do anything, um, or did he do anything to you that would cause you to react in any kind of way to be violent with him? He was always amazing with me. Did he, he never put his hands on me. Did he ever threaten you with any weapons or anything? Absolutely not. What about last night? Not that I remember. Does he, does he have any weapons? Um, I mean, we got knives. He has, he likes knives. He's got them around the house. Um, and there is a gun upstairs in the master bedroom. A SIG. But that's it, really. Nothing, I mean, nothing too extreme. Just one gun and some knives. Most of the knives he has is like, his brother gave it to him and then his dad gave him this kind of thing. They're like collector's knives or hunting knives or what kind of knives are Um. They? He's got two K-bars, he's got, um, I don't know, one of them, honestly, I don't know, one of them's like this really old, it has a wooden handle, and the blade is rusted to shit because it accidentally fell into water, and that was my fault, and I tried to, I tried to get all of it off, but, I mean, I mean, most of the knives that he has mostly are, you know, gifts from his father or his brother, kind of thing. You said uh, sometimes um, the most you guys will argue or, or, or uh, yell at each other is if somebody gets too drunk and says chill yeah, out or yeah, sit down or calm down. Sit the fuck down and have some water and chill out. Did, any, did it ever get like, to I'm that point? i putting you on a timeout. <laughs> did it ever get to that point last, last night? last night that I remember, no. When is the last time you think one of you had to say that to the other? Oh, God, it's been such a long time. We've been, do, we've been I mean, we've been trying to get back, you know, working out and everything. Hence the new shoes and all that. Um, I really haven't been drinking that much a lot lately. Last night was the first time I've been uh, actually like drinking liquor in a while. Um, just because I don't for health for calorie like I just I'm trying to not put on weight. So it's been probably since we had to do something like say that probably three or four months. Okay. You have any other questions? Uh, I jotted some stuff down throughout the course of uh, what you were saying, so let me see. When did he um, came over? When did he stop working for them? Uh, maybe a month ago. What Their office is right down the road if you want to go ask. <laughs> why uh, Why did he stop? Did he get fired or did he leave? It's commission-based, and it's he had to go knock on doors and get people to make appointments, and then from there get them to sell them. So it was more so him just, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. It was, yeah, it was, he was driving around a lot on his feet, like doing all this stuff and there was nothing coming back from it. It's not like they were getting right. paid hourly or anything. So, I, I mean, we made the decision to say, fuck it, like, just stay here, help out around the house, do more around the house would be more, more beneficial. More beneficial, okay. Yeah, so did he ever work with anybody that he had problems with? Any co-workers? Not particularly, no. Okay. That was just one of the things I, I mean, thought down. So one of his my dog for um, another thing I jotted down you said you said a timer for the um, taco thing on, on, on Alexa <laughs> device yes. that's like one of those things you echo. talk to yeah where is that located in the house it's in the kitchen um, right beside the refrigerator okay so it should just be sitting there in the kitchen that's what you guys use to set timers yeah okay. timers music I can do shopping groceries <laughs> mm, let's see anything else I know, I know I stepped out for a second, and I think it was right around the time where uh, we were talking about you waking up and walking around the staircase, and you, you saw the kitchen and how it, it looked prior to going upstairs to look for him. And I didn't, I've never been in the house. I haven't been in there. I was told by deputies that responded that it's got some blood and some glass. Is that true? Yes. Okay, so is that uncommon if you wake up and you're walking around and see that? What's your reaction to that when you saw that? I mean, I saw it, and I was worried and everything, that's why I mean, but that's why I was looking for him, like, but I just, I saw a broken glass, and there was a lot of blood, but, I didn't, I mean, there could have been a lot of blood, yeah, but, I, I mean, if it was anything that terrible, I thought we would be sitting in the fucking ER, kind of thing, like, 
I think like maybe like glass got broke. We cut or one of us cut ourselves or something, and just we we're yeah. I don't know, just didn't clean it up. He was drunk and didn't clean it up. But to you, um, cause like again, I, I haven't been in there. But to you, it looks like a lot of blood and a lot of glass, like something happened. Yes. Okay. Um, did you uh, at that point become more concerned about anything, or are you still just trying to see if he's sleeping upstairs? I was absolutely more concerned. Okay. I'm just asking because I, I don't, I'm like I said I haven't been in there. I don't know what kind of re reaction it's going to elicit. If I go in there, I'm like, oh, that's yeah, just some little blood on the it's ground. Not just that's just a little blood on the ground. Okay. There so, was a lot of blood, and yeah, I saw it, but I kept looking for him. I ran upstairs. He wasn't in the bedroom. Uh, I mean, I know I said I came back downstairs and let the dog outside, but I was I was confused. I didn't know like if you're not here, you're not there. Where what what happened? Where are you? Kind of thing. Like I just I didn't. I, I, it didn't even occur to me that he would be outside. Only when you let the dog out is when you realize he was. Yeah, outside. because I was. I, I didn't know. Like, why would I didn't think he would be outside? I didn't think to check there. It's not like we just go to sleep outside. That's never. We don't do that. Does he ever hang out outside when you guys are just hanging out and drinking? Or yeah, we. I mean, we we do that from time to time. Like, especially since the weather's been really nice lately. And we have the patio set, and we'll, we'll go outside and sit down and hang out. And Was he bleeding last night when he went to sleep? No. Did he accidentally cut himself? He did. What do you mean? He, accident he did. He accidentally cut himself. On some I don't remember what he was doing, but I think he cut his hand. On something I don't remember I don't know what it, I don't remember I don't know when you went to sleep last night was but it wasn't like massacre in the kitchen kind of thing it was like wrap a fucking towel around it or a band-aid and you would have been fine so there was there but he wasn't bleeding like he wasn't like bleeding everywhere it was I remember I do remember that now I think it was around when we were talking about the health insurance stuff I think he caught him. I don't. I don't know what he was doing because I. I, I did the kid? Did the kitchen look like last night when you went to bed? Did the kitchen look like it did when you woke up this morning? Kitchen looked like our kitchen last night. This morning looks like a massacre. Okay. So there wasn't blood and stuff all over the floor last night. Okay. I also think it stepped out when you talked about. Um, He's mentioned wanting to hurt himself before. Has he ever given you any indication of how he would hurt himself or if he were to... How he would do it? Mm. He, not particularly. He just, in general, talked about uh, wanting to hurt himself. He never told you any he plan or anything. He tried to not get too specific with me because he knew it upset me. Do you have any questions for us? Can I have some ibuprofen? No, I, don't, I don't think we can <laughs> administer any medications yeah, just because. Yeah, that would be good. We don't know, you know, we don't know you what what you've taken. We don't want to be the one to put that last ibuprofen in you and have it go over the top, you know. Understood. I just have some rage, what headache, I and I feel like all of this is full of bad nightmares. What I like to do. Mr. Hurt is, I'd like to get some photographs of you, okay? And since you got, you know, obviously blood all over you, um, they're not the most comfortable clothes, but I'd like to take your clothes and trade you out some other ones. Where, do you have, right now we have uh, detectives at the house, okay? Mm -hmm. Where are you from again? North Carolina. All right, do you have any family that's local? Do you have any friends that you can go to their house and hang out? We can get you a ride there. One of the neighbors or anything I don't like that? <laughs> I had, I just got to a fight months ago with my friend. And I don't really have any other If you can get in contact, I would like to go with him to Chad. Well, we can try to do that. Do you know his phone number? I don't, but it's in his phone. Okay. Who is that? That's his, his brother. Okay. Um, Assuming he doesn't try to murder me because he already hates me for stealing his little brother away. I don't mean that in a literal, like, he is 
The last time I spoke to him, he was mad at me, though, because... So maybe we shouldn't call him and have you go over there? I don't have anyone else. Okay. Fuck. I don't have her number on me, but if anyone gets Do you know where she mind, is? No, Tampa somewhere. I've only been there once. She's a hoarder, so she doesn't like people at her house. This is the friend you had a fight with? with uh, no, that was some um, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. girl. Who's the girl that you had a, a Her name is Ludie, and she's the closest thing I can call to a friend right now. Ludi? Um, L-U-D-I. She's Russian. Her real name is Ludmila. Okay. Um, you have a, you know if her phone number? Is that in your phone? It's in my phone, but if you can get her and call her. She's local enough to maybe she'd take you in when we explain to her what happened, what was going on. What's her last name? Oh fuck! I can't even think right now. Fuentes, F U E N. Fuentes. <laughs> did you address the the book? I, I forgot we mentioned. I did not. We talked about it briefly when we were there, just because you were bringing it with you and wanting to bring it. Um, could you explain more what what that book is or? <coughs> Mind opening it? It's because he had me sit down in the office to talk to me at first or to calm me down anyway to get me away from the... Because where I was sitting, I could see him. Oh, so the deputy is the one who... who so he put me in the office instead before taking me outside to the garage. Okay. And this... I made this for us this year on our anniversary. Because it's photos from the times when we first met. So it's kind of like a little diary of your guys' um, relationship. I see some photos. That's him and you in there. Your first Christmas, Vegas, Philadelphia. We went to Cuba together. Mexico. That's our dog. It's our husky, Sarah. There's a cat back there too, I see. Yeah, we have four cats. <laughs> That's when we bought the house in January. January 4th? <laughs> January 4th. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and step out. Do you, did you have any other questions for us? We're gonna go ahead and step out. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get them over here as quickly as we can and get some pictures of you. All right. Do you need to use a restroom or anything? No. You want a soda? Some something else? Something, something other than water? Oh, a Coke would be nice. A Coke. Yeah, we'll get you a Coke. All right. Um, um, my my phone, I believe, is in the kitchen at the house. If you can have someone get Ludie's number, she should be ashamed, saved in my phone. Okay. What did you say her full name was? Ludie. Ludamila Fuentes. She was adopted by a, um, a Spanish, Spanish couple here in Florida. Oh, so she's Russian, but she just has a Hispanic last name? Yeah, okay. she, yeah she's from Russia. So we'll get working on that, too, because we want to, we're at the house right now. We're going to be there for a little while, so you're not going to be able to go in there until we're done, but we want to make sure that we get you somewhere, okay? Do you want to hang out in here until we get ready to take the pictures, or would you like to sit outside? It's totally up to you. We got some picnic tables right there. You can get some fresh air if you'd like. I'll go inside. Okay. You can take your water with you. I'll go ahead and conclude this interview. It's uh, 1217 at uh, Friday, October 18th. And we'll get you a Coke too, okay? Where are we, are we staying here for a minute? Uh, she, she wants to sit outside. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got to um, tell you something outside. Just regarding the phone. I don't. Um, I don't. We have detectives there that are trying to, you know, they're processing the house and trying to figure out what maybe what happened in there with the evidence and stuff. And we're talking to you and we're talking to the neighbors. So we're, we're working through it. Okay? If you want to, um, we can go outside in a second. Um, if you don't mind, if you would, wouldn't mind just sitting here for a second. I just got to pop in for five seconds and then appreciate it.
have you, uh, we'll go get you a Coke, okay? Have you been outside over here? Yeah. Good luck. All right, we're going to go back on the record with Melissa Turner. Fifty. We're still working on it. We figured out who she is. We left her voice now. Okay. Can you can yeah. Um, she's gonna come in and take some photographs, like we explained earlier. Um, like we said, you know, we're gonna document your cut and the blood and all that stuff. You're still free to go. You don't have to talk to us, okay? And answer any questions. All right. You understand? So nothing's changed from the first time. We we'll picked you up, asked you to come back here. Um, you volunteered to come back here, talk to us, and now we're going to get some photographs. Are you okay? Yes. Is that all right? Yes. So we're going to let her kind of walk you through. Or walk, she's going to walk you through how I, she wants you to stand up and stuff, okay? Can I have you actually against this uh, beige wall right here? Please, or get the other stuff out of the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take a few overalls. So we're going to do front, and back, and, you, and your sides. Okay, if you can turn to the side, we're just going to rotate all the way around. Thank you. Okay, back side. And then. Okay, then front side again. I'm going to use some of your face. If you'd like to keep your eyes closed, go ahead. There's a flash when I get into your eyes. Just going to do a couple because I see you have some blood. Miss Turner, besides that, don't don't move your head. Just if you can just hear me, uh, so you don't mess up the photographs. Besides the blister on your left foot and that cut that's on your right hand, do you know of any other injuries anywhere that you had? No. Okay. Is that a cut or just blood? It's just blood transfer. Okay, sure. Yeah. Is that also blood up there on your head? Right there. Mm -hmm. No, I had it on my hands and then kind of had my hands in my hair. Yeah. I know you were using yeah. your napkin too. Let me just have you use the towel just for a second while I press your face again. Perfect. I'll get my teeth here. I'll lean forward on you. I'm just going to check your ears if that's okay. <coughs> You're good. Nothing on your ears. You all right? I'm afraid as I can be so you can come in my fiance's blood. Right, I know, I understand. We're trying to make it as painless as possible for you. We just got to document some things. Stay seated. I should be able to do this. We might have some donuts in there. Would you like a donut or something? I don't know what kind there are, but I think we have some. Would Thanks. you like one? I think so. Some sugar. It might be yeah. a good idea to eat. Let me just I feel like I'm going to pass out. Oh, well, we don't want that. <clears throat> you know, cops and donuts, we always have them ready, <laughs> ready to go. 
So the interview rooms and things are just glamorous, but the donut thing is no, true. These little decorated. I'm just going to do it right by your nails real quick. <laughs> Very true. They'll try to deny it. <laughs> and you can have your palm side too. We're going to do the same exact thing. There we go. You try to hold it as straight as you can. You can relax on your hand on your leg. So that was a burn mark from something previously? Mm -hmm. Was it like last night or just? Oh, uh, no, that was that was over a week ago. A week ago you burned Yeah, I burned it pretty good. Okay. I, I didn't know it was still that hot. And okay. It blistered up pretty badly. Here, I'm going to put this down here for you when, I, when she's done, okay? Thank you. Looks like the plane's going <laughs> more nice and brought in this way. You said, and you told me earlier, you're right, you're right handed, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is that, that hurt to open it up? Sorry. I, oh my gosh, I didn't notice. This slice pretty good. I didn't even notice. Oh wow. I, oh. I had no idea that was there. I'm gonna go ahead and photograph it and we'll see if we can get a band-aid um, or, band or something, <laughs> something to wrap it up with. Yeah, some super glue, I'll be fine. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I don't... If it happened this morning, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I feel like my brain's kind of... I absolutely had no idea that that yeah, was I'm going to see if we can get um, that bad. just EMS just to come get the badge mm -hmm. on that. Yeah. Right. Have them wrap it like officially. Mm -hmm. Is that all right? That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> they may be able to prescribe that um, ibuprofen or whatever you want to. I don't know that if they do that. That would be lovely. The we'll last one get here. It's going to explode. Do you get headaches a lot? No. Just right now. All right. Do you have any other things for me? Mm -hmm. Just double check to make sure. Okay. Right. Thank you. Take your wrist real quick for you. Yeah, that's just a transfer. Okay. Um, just need to get all the rest of her. Um, yeah, your legs and feet and everything. <laughs> I was barefoot because they had brought me my shoes out. So. Okay. You're yes, not cut on the bottom of your feet or at all from walking in any glass or anything? Not that I know of. Can't, are you able to um, kind of help hold your feet up so I can just get the bottom of your feet? Perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want a dog fur that's stuck in the blood? It's okay. That's okay. <laughs> can you give me for a to hold the scale? Yeah. Or do you have a I have a uh, box outside. Yeah, let me grab them. Yeah. Where is it? Work. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where are you okay, hold your feet back up again. You want it on which side? Yep, it doesn't matter. Yeah, work. Perfect. Thank you, Kevin. Big toe side, or it doesn't matter.
Okay, that's the I, I know we talked about maybe taking that off and taking a look at that. That's okay. If you okay. Want to. That way, when they come with the bandages, they can maybe re bandage it for you. That's fine. Yeah, they're on their way. Okay. So, okay, you can take your time. Okay, thank you. Go a little bit. No rushing. Try to touch your feet with the scale. Did you buy shoes that were too small? No, they were just new and. Oh. You had to break them in. Break them in. Together, hold your legs together. And I had the dog on a walk by myself that day, and she was being a little stubborn, and my shoe came untied, so I just quickly retied it and tied it a little too tight, and so it rubbed too much. And I got a blister, but I'm stubborn, so I just kept on. Is that I made that, it worse. <laughs> what is that right there? Is that something else? What? On her foot right there? This right here? Or is that just blood? It's hair and then <laughs> yeah, it's dog fur. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It, it kind of looks like a scratch or something. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. It's dog fur. The like the and that the bigger one is just built up blood. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> Do you wanna do you wanna take that band-aid off and then just toss it in here and then we can get some photos of the blister? Okay. Would it be possible for you to maybe look on the back of her back and uh, I don't know, her stomach or her arms to make just make sure there's not because I know you got somewhere to go and I don't wanna have to call you back. Okay. I appreciate it. Turn to me. Yeah, that's right there. Right there. Let's just give me the chills. <laughs> the Especially when they get real, yeah, when they, they get all pussy and then they pop. Because yeah. oh. you just know you're going to get, if you don't put something on it, it's going to get infected. Yeah. Let me try to get the inside. Just make sure there's nothing from the blister on the inside of this button. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the bigger thing you had wrapped around? That's just a big band aid? Yeah, it's just some sort of medical tape I found at CBS. So you put the little one over the blister and then the tape around the whole thing? Yeah, it really helped with the new shoe and all. Okay, right. Um, I'll do I'll just check under your shirt. Here, we'll, uh, we'll stand right here. Thank you. Okay, just to make sure we don't need to do anything else there. Mind? Do you want to yeah. yeah, if you don't mind. Or anything. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah. Do you, um, I don't care. Okay, I'm not going to take any pictures of your. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't care right now. And the scars are from them. Um, I lost weight and had my skin removed. Oh. So that's what the scars are. I'll just check if you want to put your shirt to him. I don't even know what that's from. Me mm neither. -hmm. All right. And then you can put your shirt down. Yeah. I'm just going to check your neck if that's okay with you, too. Yeah, there. 
sure there's nothing. Come on. Oops. I'll get that in a second. Okay, and I'm just going to check your back. So can you lift your shirt so I can see the back side? That's her stomach? Mm-hmm. I see you got a scar there on your stomach. I lost um, over 100 pounds and had all the skin removed, so it was over 7 pounds of skin oh. that I had. That's when the scar was So it was a medical in. procedure? Yeah, it was. Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. I'm just trying to wait on them to come get you a band, uh, bandage on your hand there. Okay. Um, one second. Yeah. You want some gloves? Um, I have a couple more questions that I just wanted to follow up with you on okay. uh, reference to. So we'll get you some gloves if, if you want. You want some gloves to eat your donut? Yeah. That way you won't get it in your hand before they wrap it up? Yes. What size do you think you are? A small. Small? Small, medium. Uh, we got medium. Medium. Yes, medium. Yes. You got enough to drink? Yeah. You need them? Yeah. yeah. All right, he's he's actually standing in the parking lot waiting for them while we're doing that. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Um, while we're doing that, I wanted to um, check with you and see if it'd be okay. There's a lot of blood in the house, um, so we want to be able to distinguish who's is who's. So I was going to ask you if you'd be willing to give us a buckle swab. You know what a buckle swab is? No, but sure. It's a basically obviously I did cut myself more right, than and I realized, it, and right. I don't. I, I can bullshit you, but I don't remember really doing it. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're not saying that you're bullsh trying to bullshit us or anything. I, know, I just I know there's a lot of blood, and I just want to be able to determine whose is whose. Um, so let me get um, let me get you another, let me get you another pin, okay? Because this is mine. Oh, here they are. Hey, how are you? Oh. up your hand and we'll put another bandage on your uh, your foot okay Right now, I don't give a shit about anything, but I probably should put a bandage on it. So I mean, it's not like actively bleeding or anything, so it's no. just completely up to you. I know we pulled the other one off to get a photo. That's all. Oh, right. Scissors. I think it'll be okay. Okay. Scissors on you. I can get you some. 
feel better now that you got your hand wrapped up because I don't want you to get infected, okay? Um, I got you something to drink. You need to use the restroom or you good? Um, we were talking about earlier right before they came in about getting your DNA. Um, this is a form. I'll read it to you. You agree? I'll let you sign you, okay? Um, it says consent to search, a waiver of search warrant for our oral swab. It's basically we're going to take a couple of Q-tips, just put them in your mouth there, swabs, circle around, mm -hmm. and have it. It says I, and you initially here do do hereby consent. Make a little list of Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office law enforcement official collect a swab specimen from me for investigative purposes. I have been fully informed that the specimen will be analyzed and compared as evidence, and I further agree that this evidence can and will be used at trial in any matter of which I may stand accused. I have been fully informed, and I agree that the results of any DNA analysis may be included to a DNA database. I fully understand my constitutional rights in regard to this search, and it is my intention to fully and completely waive such rights by this consent. I give this consent freely and voluntarily, without compulsion or threat of any kind. If you agree with that, I have your initial right here in this box, and then right here where it says subject. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to let you hold that since you got some blood on you. You can use maybe the chair to sign the chair or. Uh, I don't know if it's going to poke through there or not. And right initial or sign it? Uh, sign there where it says subject, please. All right. so you, you just put the pin down there to the side. I'm going to let you, um, so these are sterile swabs. Um, basically, I'm going to open the package and let you grab them out of there, and then you'll just rub them on the inside of your cheek or your gums for about 10 seconds, and then we'll put them back in, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just rub pretty vigorously on the inside of your cheek. There you go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You put them cotton side down straight into there. All right, perfect. Just take a note here. Is it with the form over there? All right, um, Ms. Turner. Just so you know, we're back on the record. Okay, nothing's changed. Just want to follow up. Got a couple more questions for you here. Oh, can I move the chair back over here for you? You don't mind? No, you're not hiding in the corner. Nothing's changed. You're free to leave whenever you'd like. You don't have to answer any of our questions. You're not under arrest, anything like that. Okay? You, I just need you to, I just need to know that you understand that. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> like we explained uh, earlier, we're doing a search warrant at the house, which is, you know, standing for us to do, we ask you some questions. Can you um, just walk me back through to the best of your ability, um, starting from yesterday when you woke up until what got us here today? <sighs> yesterday when I woke up, yeah, I got up, I canned, I went in my work. Um, after that, we got dressed, both of us, we took the dog on a walk for 20, 30 minutes. Um, when we got back, he stayed in the house to clean things up, and I went out to the garage, I was working out more, and after that, shower at Home Depot, and we went there to get the steaks for the pumpkin man, we got the tube for the fog machine thing too, and um, we got back, uh, we, well we went to Publix, and uh, we got we got filet, bread, and cheese, and we got back, and he made us lunch, and... I'm sorry. 
Um, was your turn. Uh, we had we had lunch, and then after that, um, the guy to put the covers for the sliding glass door came around three o'clock. He was there for about twenty minutes, and after that, I mean, we just stayed at the house the rest of the evening. We just, you know, we. He got out the cards and stuff, and we started, we played cards. We, I mean, we did a little bit around the house, uh, picking up, you know, vacuuming, stuff like that. Then we would play cards, and then we're talking. We fed the cats and the dog. We were talking some more, and we were, I mean, we've had a few shots at this point, and we, but we were taking a little break, waiting to get some food in us. Around eight ish, I put the the food in the oven so it could we could heat it up. And we ate after that. Both of us had a pretty big plate of it. I mean, it was a pretty big bowl of stuff, so we finished off most of it. Um, and we just after that we were just talking and having a good evening until, I mean, I started to get tired around 10.30-ish, 10 to 30, 11, something like that. Um, we didn't get in any arguments or any fights. We were having a good time. We were talking about everything, about the future, about us together, just having a good time. He spilled half my drink because I got, because I got the hiccups and, I mean, that's always, that always killed her night whenever that happens because I stop drinking after I get the hiccups because it just doesn't, it's not comfortable, it feels gross, it's just, I hate, I told you guys earlier, I hate the hiccup thing. So I got the hiccups and he calmed me down and then, I mean, I might have had like, you know, maybe what was left of my, my truly drink, I think, but, um, it was just getting later, and I, was, I just I remember getting tired. <coughs> he wanted to go to sleep. I remember he kept he kept wanting to be up and talk. Cause he was always a night person. He always was staying up at night. That was him. And I was just getting tired, and I was there listening to him, but really just wanted to go to bed. It's pretty much, I mean, the next morning, I, I woke up in the chair in the office. I mean, there's that big, round, comfy chair there. And, I mean, it's it'll take. It's like one of the big ones that'll take up this much room. And I looked for him downstairs, and I didn't see him. I saw the kitchen. I saw the blood, which only, I mean, that's why I went to the living room. I went upstairs. I didn't know where he was. I wanted to find him. I was... I was confused. I didn't know why. Why was there so much blood? But I couldn't find him. What I didn't know what had happened. And then I came back down. The, I saw a dog by the door. She wanted to go outside. So and it was when I was walking and let her outside that I saw him at the table. And I pulled him off of. The, um, he was sitting in the chair, slipped over the table, and I pulled him off of the table. And pulled him over. Um, fucking, I don't know, adrenaline in me. <laughs> Let me pull him over and roll him onto his back and everything, get him over there. Start trying to talk to him. Just a couple questions. Um, you said you do uh, your uh, uh, cam model? Yes. Part of your job is do, do do people ever come to your house to see you? Absolutely not. Okay. I never meet with anybody. I never have anyone at the house. No. Do you do all your work through um, your computer? Yes. Like uh, was it what's it? Uh, what's the word I want to use? It's it's webcam. Yes. This is the most of it, yes. I'm not like the most technically inclined person, so I knew what it was, but I couldn't think of what it was. Yeah. Do you ever use your phone to do any kind of um, webbing or anything like that? Yes, that's Did mostly why I'm on my phone, because I'm doing work. Okay. 
were you using your phone last night to do work? No, not last night, not whenever, I mean, it was, I don't remember touching my phone, really. Whenever I'm, like, done with work, I like to put it down and be done with work kind of thing. Do you play games or anything on your phone? Not really. Do you remember texting anybody? No. We looked a little bit more, we thought your scratch was kind of small, but then we saw that it was it was bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but we also saw, like, it looks like a, a we call it abrasion, but maybe a scratch. Tell me about that on the left this, side of your neck, yeah. This, uh, that, I don't, I, I don't have an actual explanation for you besides, I mean, I, I don't know. I could have, I could have done it myself this morning for all I know, going through my fucking panic attacks and stuff because I don't. I don't hurt myself, but sometimes I do, like, when I have an anxiety or a panic attack, I'll grab it myself without realizing it. So I don't know if that's that, but I don't know. Did somebody else scratch you? Nothing I know of, no. Would you know if somebody scratched you? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you said not that I know of, so. I mean, I don't I mean, know if he scratched me, of. I would know he scratched me type of thing. That's why I'm asking. Uh, like... Uh, I, I have no, like, real explanation for it besides, like, I do this when I get anxious, and <laughs> this morning's been a fucking roller coaster, and it's all been down fucking hill. No, I know. And earlier when we were talking to you, we didn't know about that, so that's why we didn't, we didn't I, I don't know. Scratch on your stomach, or the abrasion on your stomach, when the, uh, Miss Patel was taking photographs, you had a red line. Yeah, the right mark there. on my stomach. Um, could be from leaning over the counter or I don't know. It's a straight line, so it's not like I got hit or something. Okay. It's, I mean, I don't know if you looked at the photo, but it's like, it looks like I leaned over something wrong or like... It's very level. I would say Yeah, that's what level. I mean. Like, I could be like me leaning over the counter or something like that. I mean, we were we putting up the pumpkin man doing a little bit in the yard in the garage yesterday. And I'm accident prone. And you said, um... You cut, how'd you, tell me again how you cut yourself? I don't, I don't remember exactly. I, because I don't remember, because I remember it was this morning, because I remember getting some blood on him. I don't, I think I, I think I was looking for a phone and I was panicking and picked up the glass is because I knew it was I said it was this morning. I remember that. I I think I just couldn't find a phone at the time between the mess that the kitchen was, and I was just panicking. That's a pretty significant cut. <laughs> yeah, does, well, does, I was panicking pretty fucking bad. <laughs> does that look like a glass cut? Or? I don't know what it looks like. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't. It must have been a pretty big piece of glass. Well, the, I remember there was a, the glass in the kitchen was a big mug. Okay. So I, don't, I could, honestly, it could have been that. I picked that up and was panicking, kind of. I don't know. I just, I just remember it was this morning. And <laughs> When's the last time, again, that anybody besides the uh, screen guy was at your house, like a visitor? Uh, we just had the windows replaced not too long ago, so I mean, those guys were there, but before that, probably been a month or so, month, month and a half, to, I, don't, I don't know exactly. Were those males or females? It was a male. It was, uh, he had, um, the guy from down the road and came over and came into the house. Uh, the I older, the older named Charlie, the Asian guy at the other corner. Mm. Um, what did he come over for a month ago? Um, because we were getting the windows redone then and he was coming over to talk to us or we'll talk to him because I wasn't there that day about um, all the changes improvements that we had made to the house since we bought it. You know, the solar panels were done, the windows, we you know, fixed some stuff up, made it look nicer. And they were, he said that I wasn't there. So, I mean, 
Charlie's an old, older Asian man. He just kind of, you know, sometimes takes walks around the neighborhood, and I guess they just struck up a conversation. Um, any females? Not recently, no. Yeah, because you said you're you kind of had a fallen out with your one friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. Um. Like I said, we got detectives at the house. They're inside the house now. I think they got a search warrant for it. And we've been talking to the neighbors and all of that stuff. Um, you said that last night you never woke up at all. Not that I didn't know. You either did or you don't. I'm not. I'm not tricking. This isn't a trick question. No, I don't remember waking up. I remember laying down. I remember waking up in the same spot. The deputy, I spoke to the deputy at the scene, mm -hmm. and he said when he first spoke with you, um, you made a comment to him and had said that, uh, well, what were you in, or arguing about last night? I don't really remember. I mean, we might have gone in argument, but it didn't seem like anything. I mean, sometimes we do whenever we get one of us, you know, whenever he drinks a little too much. But we always just, I always just brush it off and go to bed. Um, I don't, I mean, it could have been, uh, I'm not exactly, I don't know. Well, the reason I'm asking is because you told the deputy that you guys were arguing. And you've been pretty detailed about everything that happened yesterday. I mean, even how you woke him up yesterday, that's mm -hmm. pretty detailed. Um, so I would think you would remember what you guys were arguing about. That's why I'm asking. Because, I mean, he did have a lot to drink last night. I know that, but I, I, get, I mean, I don't really remember it because it kind of is a, not that we fight and argue all the time, but he just, you know, we'll just get drunk sometimes and he gets a little too amped, like wants to, I don't know, he goes on about something. Like I said, I think it was, uh, when I said he was talking and talking, I think that's kind of the ties into it. Like, I just want to go to bed, and he would be like, you know, no, like, stay up with me. Come on, let's, you know, let's have fun, blah, blah, blah. And we get into arguments about that sometimes because I just can't stay up. I'm just tired. And he would, I mean, drunk him would get, like, disappointed about it. So it's not, like, actual arguing, but it was more, like, made me feel guilty kind of thing, like... We weren't like screaming at each other that I know of. Um, we were just. How long were you guys arguing for? I don't know exactly. Like I wasn't keeping tabs on the time. Five minutes. Maybe ten. An hour. Ten fifteen, I would say, is mm -hmm. normally our back and forth. And me, I'm like, drink some fucking water and shut up, kind of thing. Normally. You probably weren't arguing with him when you had the hiccups in the. Oh no, we weren't arguing burps. then. I don't know because but it was, so he was must have been, to it must have been after the burping and the hiccups and before you went to sleep. Yeah, it had to been then. Well, you mentioned um, the argument may have been because you just wanted to go to sleep and he's keeps wanting to hang out and talk. That happens, yeah. Okay, but that was also the time you were falling, basically falling asleep while he was then giving him the uh huh, uh huh, and just whatever he was talking Sounds about. Sounds about right. Okay. But you so. Is it fair to say that you guys were arguing, but you just don't remember what you were arguing about? You could say that, but I can't. I'm not say saying that. anything. I'm I'm asking you. I mean, you guys. It's fair argued. to say we may have been, but we might not have been. Okay. I I mean because it wasn't significant enough for me to actually remember it. Okay. Seems like maybe a little tiff back and forth, normal shit, but nothing monumental. Okay. Tell me about what happened around 4 o'clock this morning. 4 o'clock? What happened at 4 o'clock? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. I don't know either. Why? Was there any arguing around at 4 o'clock? Not morning? that I know of. You would know because either you were sleeping or you weren't. I believe I was asleep. <laughs> okay. Were you asleep at 4 o'clock this morning? To my knowledge, yes. Do you remember being awake at 4 o'clock this morning? No. Did you in, get in an argument at 4 o'clock this morning? No. Or 4.30, somewhere around that time, Frank? Not that I know of. Okay. 
any time between when you went to bed at 11 to when you woke up, um, I think you said 20 minutes before you called us, right? It was right around, yeah. So, so let me just make sure I have the right time so I'm not talking. Uh, Your car came in at 8.45. 8.45 is when the call came in. So you said about 20 minutes, maybe even if you lost track of time, say you woke up at 8. Any time between you went to bed at 11 last night to 8 this morning, did you have any argument? No, not that I know of. Well, let, I mean, you say that a couple let, times. Let me, let me say this. So, <laughs> we've been talking to the neighbors. There's cameras all over the neighborhood. There's ring doorbell cameras and everything. Okay. Okay. Um, sometimes when we ask questions, we usually know the answers to them already. That's why yeah. we're asking you this question. That's why I'm getting the feeling. Around 4 o'clock this morning, something happened at your house. That's why we're asking. Okay. What the only happened? person, I don't know, the only person that can tell us that is you because I'm unfortunately not here. Thanks, I, I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. What what were the neighbors saying? What it ain't what the neighbors are saying. It's what's on video. What There's th arguing coming from the house. It's a male and a female. And you told us earlier in your statement that the only people that were there all night long were you. I have no memory of any argument at four in the morning. Okay. If it was at four in the morning, I will tell you right now, I did not stay up until four in the morning. I don't know, maybe it's possible he was still up and drunk and woke me up and we got in an argument over that. Did that happen? If I, I would, if it was four in the morning, then my ass was dead ass asleep and I don't, if he woke me up, then I was still half asleep. Okay. So tell me about the argument that you had around four o'clock this morning. I have no memory of that. But it wasn't anybody else because there wasn't anybody else there. I'm being totally transparent with you. I have given you the information that I have. Okay. Well, I just, just asking because something happened there. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. And I have some video surveillance that uh, here, over here is a conversation actually yelling and screaming between a male and a female coming from your house. So I know you drank some, but you said you weren't on any drugs or taking any medication. So mm -hmm. I, I tend to believe that you may, he may have woke you up. I, for why, why he woke you up, I don't know. Why you guys were arguing? I know he got really drunk, so I, I can't know. say. But I mean, he, sometimes when he got really drunk, he, I mean, he got really drunk. He would say, like, he would be, he was an alcoholic. He got belligerent sometimes, not hurt me, not touch anything, but he would get just drunk, like, out of control drunk. Let me ask you this. When you went to sleep, let's say, approximately 11 o'clock last night, and until you woke up this morning, mm -hmm. did you use your cell phone to call anybody or anything? Not that I know of. Did I do it without me remembering? Do you have a tendency to do things without you remembering? No. That's okay. why I'm confused right now. I'm a little confused too. That's why I was asking. Yeah, because that's not me. Okay. Not so if something happened, you would remember? Yes. I don't really have memory lapses. But you have. You don't remember this morning? I do not remember 4 o'clock this morning, no. Here, here's, and, and I'm just going to... Okay, just no bullshit, please. Exactly, no okay, bullshit. Cool. Let, let's 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 do that because here's the thing. He's sitting here telling he's he's playing his cards. He's showing his hand to you. You guys played mm -hmm. cards last night. You guys know how to play cards, right? Yeah. He's showing his hand right now. He's telling you that we have evidence that there's arguing coming from your house at right. four o'clock in the morning. So, I don't want you to go down a road where you say that you just have no memory of that. Okay. What, what we need from you that would probably be a lot better off and make a lot more sense is to come forward and tell us what that argument was about it for you rather than say you don't remember. The argument was him waking me up because he was a night person, as I've told you guys. He, him staying up till four in the morning whenever he got drunk is not unheard of. I would say he woke me up and we got in an argument over that because he was still up at four in the morning drinking. 
when he had a problem, he knew about it. He knew he should fix it. He was trying to work on it, but being up at 4 in the morning, drunk off your ass, wasn't doing anybody any good. And that was what the argument was about then. Okay, so just so I'm clear, you do have a memory of what happened, right? Yes. Uh, at 4 o'clock? Yes. Okay, so you're obviously upset because, be, so I'm just on phone, he's drinking until the wee hours of the morning. Correct. Um, and that upsets you because of whatever he's doing wakes you up, and that's why you were upset. It's, I mean, I'm upset, yeah, because he comes and wakes me up, but also because... Did he, he purposely come and shake you and wake you up, or did he just be noisy and that woke, that's what woke you up? For me and for him, for me to wake up like that, he woke me up. Okay. Himself. And, and so what happens from there then? Now that, now that you're awake and you're having this memory of arguing with him at 4 o'clock, what do you remember from that time? I remember having the argument. I don't remember the kitchen having, there was no broken glass. There was no blood anywhere that, I, you know, nothing. I just remember arguing with him. Was there anybody else there? Not that I saw. Well, you guys have a doorbell camera, right? Oh, we have, we have the, a camera, yeah. Um, it's a motion activated one, so I mean, but it has, it's on a delay. So if my dog walks past and sets it off, you know, 10 seconds before, it's not gonna go off again when the door opens, you know, what, through the, it's motion does that make, yeah, yeah, and it's got the delay on it, so it's not just constantly recording things. So when you were arguing with Matthew, there was nobody else there that you saw? No, not that I saw. Okay. Why were you yelling at him, bitch, get up, bitch, get up, all that stuff? Because he has a tendency sometimes, um, actually a lot of the times whenever he is drinking and gets that drunk into the hours of the morning, um, he will just fall over. He'd be standing, he'd be sitting, and he would just fall on the floor because he just gets that drunk. And I just, I mean, I, I might have been, yeah, so I was upset with him and was yelling at him because I was upset that he had done that again. Okay. Um, I want to keep asking you some more questions. Okay. Um, but I'm kind of at a point where I want to, uh, I want to read you a couple things, okay? <laughs> This is a an affidavit that we have. Uh, have you ever been arrested before, anything like that? No. All right. Do you know what your Miranda rights are? Are you arresting me? No, I'm not arresting you. What I'm doing is protecting you, your constitutional rights, because I want to ask you some more questions. Um, but I want to read you your rights and afford you the opportunity to listen to those rights before I continue to ask you any questions. Okay. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. Listen, there's no tricks here, all right? I'm not a magician. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Okay. All right. You have rights. I just want to make sure that they're protected. I want to read them to you, and then you can read them to yourself. As I read them, I'll just have you initial them. You got your, uh, your pen. You got your pen right there? Sorry, not about the chicken. Got it. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, Melissa Turner, do hereby consent to being interviewed by the below listed Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office law enforcement official concerning the above listed incident slash offense and I further understand that one, I have the right to remain silent and can invoke this right at any time during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. I'm going to read them all to you and then you can uh, initial them if you'd like. Number two, if I do make a statement, it can and will be used against you. me. Let me read it again. I messed it up. Number two, if I do make a statement, it can and will be used against me in a court of law. Number three, I have the right to speak with and have an attorney present during questioning. Number four, if I cannot afford a, if I cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to me without charge before any questioning if that is my desire. Do you understand that? If I wish to make any statement, I may invoke my right to an attorney or to remain silent at any time during the questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. 
Number six, I understand these rights, and no one has threatened, coerced, or promised me anything in order to induce me to make a statement. I presently wish to make a statement and or answer questions without an attorney being present. If you agree to continue the interview with us, I just really, I would ask that you initial next to each one of those numbers on the line, and then sign, that's your name, Melissa Turner. You can sign right next to it, okay? Just go ahead and date it. It's uh, Friday, October 18th still mm -hmm. at 1.48 p.m. You can throw the pen down or whatever you want to do with it. Put the gloves there. Okay. So... Tell me a little bit more about the argument. He was still up and he was being, he was drunk and being loud and uh, I mean, he wasn't harming me or anything like that. He was just still awake at four in the morning being drunk and then he did the thing that, I mean, he's done it so many times over where he just gets drunk to the point that he just falls over. And he he's done it millions of times and he'll be standing up and just fall over or sitting down and just fall on the floor. And the next morning he'll wake up with bruises on himself and not remember it. And I have to, to drag him to try and get him on the couch sometimes try uh, getting him upstairs isn't really an option i try and put him on the couch i try and drag him over there sometimes sometimes i end up just putting a pillow under his head where he's at on the to the floor do you love him do i do you love him with all of my heart i can see that every time you shed a tear it rolls all the way down your cheek, it goes to your chin, and then in your shirt. And your shirt is soaked. That's a shirt full of tears. This we may have gotten in an argument at four in the morning. I would never, and he would never, we never would do anything to harm each other. We had a life together. We had plans, and everything was going perfect for us. Is it routine for him to wake you up like that early in the morning? Absolutely not. How did it make you feel when he woke you up this morning? I was pissed off. I was angry at him. But you love him, right? Absolutely. Why, yeah. why would you say go fuck yourself so many times? Because I can tell you this, as a husband, I've never told my wife, go fuck yourself. I've never done that. Now, I don't know, all I know about your history with him is what you told me today. But what I can say, I've never done that as a husband. Okay. You might not have ever done that as a husband, but I lose, I mean, when he gets that drunk sometimes, he himself says a lot of nasty things to me, and sometimes they're saying, go fuck yourself, fuck off, is just uh, better than trying to deal with what he's saying. Because I know, in the morning, in the morning he wakes up, he won't remember a word he said. He won't remember passing out on the floor. He won't know why he has a big bruise up his back, because he fell into the, he fell over, onto the counter one time and then hit the floor and he couldn't figure out the next day why his back and his head hurt so much. I love him and he was a good man, is a good man. But he said a lot of nasty shit whenever he got drunk sometimes. 
and that happens a lot. Recently, no. In the past, it's been... When I say that, it happens a lot. We see it a lot in our profession. Not just you two specifically. I'm not saying you two. When I say we see that a lot, it happens a lot. I'm not saying to your situation. I'm just saying in general. Yes. You know, and sometimes people make mistakes. You know, I'm sure he loves you, but when he's drinking alcohol, he says bad things. But those bad things still come out of his out of his mouth, and they still make you mad. Yeah. Right. You also said a couple of other things like, "Stay down," so fucking die. What are you What are you talking about? That was me being pissed off at him that he fell over. He fell over. When he got drunk and fell over. How? Where did he fall over at? The first time was in the kitchen. Okay. Like near the pantry. Mm-hmm. Did he get hurt? As, I don't know, as hard as you get from falling from over onto a tile floor. Uh, not particularly. Well, sometimes when you're drunk. Exactly, you're I mean. Your equilibrium and you could fall and hit your head or anything like that. What about the second time when he fell over? Because you said the first time, so I'm assuming there was a second time. Where did you fall over? Uh, not more than, I don't, I don't believe it was more than a few feet away. I and mean, he tried to get back up. And then. Let me ask you something. We've been sitting here talking for a few minutes, um, probably an hour or two at least. You told us that you guys were there, there's only two of you, the two of you were drinking. At first you didn't want to tell us about the, uh, the argument at, at four o'clock this morning, but uh, you did, so I appreciate that, okay? But my problem is, is I got back porch with Stab wounds. Stab wounds? Or wounds from a sharp object, okay? And the only people that were there were you and him. So I'm trying to figure out what happened because earlier when I asked you when he, if he was right-handed or you were right-handed, you said he had two deep cuts is what you said. That I saw that you on saw. his arm. Right. So... You, how did he get those cuts? That I don't know. Well, he probably didn't do it to himself. And the only other person that was there was you. So I'm just trying to figure out and give you the opportunity to explain what happened. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I've been doing this a long time. And I've talked to a lot of people. And this situation, though I wasn't there, there's three sides to the story. There's your version, his version, and the his truth. version, and the truth. I'm over. What I'm trying to give you the opportunity is, I'm trying to give Melissa the opportunity to be this good person over here that may have got upset and reacted out of anger and not her normal character, or this person over here that just is mean, manipulative, raging, angry, killer premeditated okay was it an accident because you were upset he, he woke you up I or would was never it something stab would, him okay well what happened help me okay that I, I don't know help me help you I don't know that he's part. got he's got wounds the only people that it, think think of it from my from let's imagine you're, you're sitting right here okay I don't know. Okay, let's let's just imagine for a second that you're sitting here in my seat, and I'm sitting in yours, and you're telling, and I'm telling you the same story you're telling me. It doesn't even. It, something happened. I need to know, was it an accident, or just you reacting because you were upset, and then you realized, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this, or was this something that was planned that you were going to be I doing this? I did not plan it. I don't know. Help us understand is what he's saying. I love that man with all my heart. I would never, I never had those thoughts in my mind. My thoughts were, what am I going to buy him for Christmas? I don't know what happened. If it was an accident, then I still, I it, call, call in someone, something. I wouldn't have let him just die had I known. 
that anything like that had happened. So there was no accidents? I did not. Because I wanna, I'm going to give you another little tidbit. There was something else that was overheard on that video. What? I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it was. I'm not going to give you everything. I'm, I told you I've been doing this for a little while. I'm not going to give you everything. I've given you enough. I've given you enough. You said something else. It doesn't look very good for yourself in regards to this incident. I want you to think back about that argument that you had and everything that you were saying or that you could have said. You made a statement. I'm not going to tell you what it was. But what I will ask, what did you do? Which one? This one? Or this one? That one is not me. Tell me about I this never. one. I know that you wouldn't it's intentionally weird. do it, but I know that an argument happened and the only two that were there were you and him. He's dead. You're not. You got a slice on your hand. A slice. That's what that is. It's a slice. How did that happen? It's not from glass. I can huh. tell you that. I've been doing I this. I mean, I know I picked up, maybe it wasn't from it. I know I picked up the glass this morning. Maybe it wasn't from it. I've been doing this for a long time. This one? It is this that one. one. It's this one. Tell me. Tell me what happened. He pissed you off then. You didn't want, you didn't want to get up. He drinks too much. He called you names. You didn't like it. You got fed up with it. You said, fuck it. You actually said, go fuck yourself. And he's told me to go fuck myself. I know. So, so help, help us understand that he's, he's telling you, you're not, you're saying you're not a cold blooded killer, right? No. Okay. So, so obviously something happened wasn't with us. So what we're trying to get is what led to that versus the other side that just makes you look like a cold blooded killer. If you sit here and say, you don't know, I just held my hands out. And when I said this one or this one, you said not that one, that one. I would not. I know, I, I don't think you would intentionally do it. I don't. I see all those tears right there in the middle of your chest. I need to know why. What happened? The only thing, the only person that could have done this is you. You're the only person there. This one? Or this one? I don't think you're this one. He's never... He, he, he was never violent towards me. So why did you react that way? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. He's... This one? Or this one? This is your chance. He gets drunk. He's never been violent towards me. He does get his knives out sometimes. And he, uh, I don't want to tell you that he's put his hands on me. It's because it's not like he hits me, but he sometimes would maybe grab me or something and try, like, that sort of thing. He wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't hit me and it, anything like this only happened whenever he, he was that drunk where he was gone, he wasn't him anymore. I can't tell you why if that's, Talking about it more now, thinking back on it. This is from me grabbing a knife out of his hand. I don't remember which one of it was that he had. But it was from taking the knife out of his hand.
And then what happened? I don't, I don't even know if I got the knife away from him doing this, but I know he had it. I don't, That's a decision you're going to have to make. I can't say whether or not you can or need one. We're not attorneys or lawyers. If you think you need one, that's totally up to you. I didn't get the knife out of his hand with that. I pissed him off trying to do that. And I swear he'd never hit me, never laid a hand on me, even when drunk. I will not let his name go down like that. But I do remember pissing him off when I tried to get the knife out of his hand. Because that was me. That's me. If you won't hand it over, if I can't get it out of his hand, uh, I'll just grab the blade and get it out that way if that's the only part of the knife I can grab to get it away from him. It's the first time I've done it. Because normally I can get the blade away from him. I pissed him off trying to do it. And things kind of escalated from there. What do you mean by that? I mean, my neck isn't from me. My jaw's sore, like I got hit. I remember being thrown over the counter, lying on my stomach. I think in the moment, that, I mean, things, things just escalated. Like I said, he got pissed off, got a little more aggressive with what he was doing. Okay, and how did you react? I was scared at first. He always scares me. Even his voice can scare me sometimes when he takes on a certain tone. I'm not wanting I'm not trying to be dumb about this I'm a lawyer I'm going to go ahead and conclude the interview at 1406 hours and do the deputies are here we're going to take your clothes um, but I'm going to get you some of those scrubs um, that I told you about because we're going to have to take those okay? okay and then we're going to try to figure out where we're going to take you or what from there okay okay so just bear with me for a second okay do you need any more water or anything to show this a little bit This 
can't be my life. No. What is happening? Could you at least come in here and keep me company? I feel like I'm gonna fall apart. I can see you. Did I just get left in here now? Going to freeze me out? Can we please turn the AC off in here? Can I have a blanket? I can see you. It's a little cold in <laughs> here. These? God, it's so cold. Am I not allowed a blanket or anything? <sighs> Fuck, give me a towel. Paper towels at this point. We were going to Walmart today. We were going to get Halloween decorations. <gasps> Can someone at least tell me how my dog is doing? Last I heard someone put her in a room upstairs. Turner. We're gonna get you something to try to keep you a little bit warmer. Thank you. Okay. Um, what's going on right now? We're getting a search warrant because we're gonna take some um, impressions—not impressions, but some like fingerprints of your feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're waiting. On. All right. So if you can just hang tight for us. Um, so my feet. Bit, yeah. Yeah. Basically, you know, how you do like fingerprints. For, you do. You get yeah. the ink and you do it. We're just gonna do it for your whole foot, like right. the bottom of your foot, like you'll step on it. Because there's footprints in the house. It's just part of the yeah, our, I walked. Well, it's just part of our processing of the scene and our investigation and evidence collection. So um, that's what we're waiting on. So we'll get you something to keep you warm, okay?
crime scene unit. Um, I don't know what they spoke with you already about collecting your clothing. Um, I went ahead and put out this. So once you get all your clothes done, then we're going to have you put that on. So if I could just have you stand up, we're going to do one item at a time. We're not eluding you. We're not? No. You want to do it over there? Okay, that's fine. Are you coming back in here? Eventually, yeah. She's coming back in here? Okay. Yeah, you'll be back in here. I know this room will be secure. Mm -hmm. Use the uh, sign the I Like if I go leave, you okay for them? How much longer am I going to be in here? We're waiting, just like you knew. I, I, I have the answer. Okay. Do you have any idea um, if anyone has checked on my dock? Uh, no, I can call. And see if Thanks. somebody's there. Okay, I'll do that. I'll let you know in just a minute. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, they checked on her. She's okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, the detective wants your shoes. So I can get those too. Thank you, ma'am. Turner, I'm going to need you to come with me for a quick second. Yeah, you can just leave that there. And if you don't mind leaving that book there as well. There we go. I'm just trying to let you know we have a search warrant. And we're going to be serving on you right now. Just take the fingerprint, your palm prints, the key print, and then I'm also going to take a bubble spot for you, okay? Let's turn around this way now. I stopped and got you some food. So there's some food in there for you to eat. Just hang out in here with these deputies. I'll be back with you as soon as I can, all right? Mm -hmm. Get a mm -hmm. got you a Coke. I saw you drinking Coke earlier. Mm -hmm. Just a napkin. Lips, fries, apples, and... Thank you. Hello? Really? Yes, yeah, really. Wait a minute, that's how much I have to know about? Yes. Thank you guys, I'll be back with you as soon as I can. Okay. okay.
Stop shaking. Oh, you gotta put your foot, your, your heel down. We'll be done in just a few minutes, okay? Alright, we'll be right back. So, I think checkers will be better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they go. That's the best ever. Yeah. And they have like a banana milkshake there. Mm -hmm. The most freshest banana milkshake I've ever had in my life. And they have a lot of milk drinks. Awesome. Um, did you have a Bojangles? Have you had Bojangles? Yeah, I've had Bojangles. Oh, Okay. I've had Bojangles <laughs> and um, that's my heart. Um, I think even Hardee's, Hardee's is different mm -hmm. than North Carolina than it is here. There should be some uh, apples in there too. If you want some apples. Yeah, Bo Jay was on there. I can eat that every day. He's so good. All right, Mr. Turner. Uh, we went back to the scene and we talked to the state attorneys and we consulted with them based on the statements and the evidence. We're going to have to place you under arrest, okay? We'll so let we're, you continue eating this. I'm just going to hold it for you for now, okay? It's a, it's a drink right at your foot. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have those shoes on there? No. Mm -hmm. Take them off. Take them off. Please don't kick me. Move your leg forward a little bit so you can get to it. I'm not pinching you, am I? No. Mm -hmm. Is that too tight? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. We got to do some paperwork and then we'll get you over to the jail. Meanwhile, we're going to move you over to the other uh, holding cell and we'll let you eat that, okay? Do you want to know what you're being charged with? or? Well, I'm going to tell you. You're being charged with second degree murder with a weapon. So then, of course, we're going to walk, we're going to walk you over there. We'll let you come in. You don't need to bring that. Don't worry about any of that. We'll, we'll, okay, you said that now. We took the book. Yeah. It's just going to be impounded for safekeeping because uh, you can't go to the jail with you. Take right? hey, hey, small steps. Here, hold on. Hold on too fast. Actually, I, I, this is that one back. Let me fix that one real quick. Mm -hmm. Seventeen twenty nine hours, October eighteenth, two thousand nineteen. Thank you for making it to the end of this Crime Circus video. I really do appreciate it. Before we get to the conclusion and the outcome of this case, I want to give a very brief shout out to Grizzly True Crime and all of the Grizzlies. I see you and I appreciate you and I love all of your support here at Crime Circus. For those of you that don't know, Grizzly True Crime is another YouTube channel and I highly support Grizzly True Crime. I'll leave a link down below. Make sure you go check it out. Subscribe. Tell her Drip Drop said hello. Also, make sure you check out my second channel, The Crime Circus Cult. It's more of the same, twice the circus fun. If you enjoy this channel, you're going to love my second channel, I promise. I'll leave a link down below so you can easily find it. Make sure you subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers over on my second channel. Let's make it happen sooner than later. Anyways, Melissa was found guilty of second degree passing away. She's 29 years old and she was sentenced to 20 years in the Florida State Penitentiary. She'll probably be released when she's about 49 years old and be back in the free world with the rest of us. What do you think about that? Is that a fair and just sentence? And is being a cam girl a legitimate job? <laughs> Your input is important here at Crime Circus. Smash the like button, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. That's all I've got for you today. Please consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube channel member. Your support goes a long way here at the circus and I appreciate you. And until next time, remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.